All of me hente, your boy Sky join here. Good morning, we're, we're in, in, in Timbuktu. Well, somebody said good morning, so I said good morning back. Oh, you're on the other side of the Australia, world. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we got the ice home, boy. We took this out and we're good to go, okay? We're good to go. We starting off the day with a, firstly, I'm here with my lovely co-host, okay? Shirley, Shirley. All right. Someone made a comment the other day. Did you see that comment being like, hey, girl, y'all fight too much? Hold on, some. Did you saw it? Did you respond to it? Oh, the comment on that was on the video though. That mm -hmm. wasn't on the live stream. No, well, it was yeah, on the, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone. It like, wasn't a part of the live chat. Yeah, but it was yeah. On the video. We, don't, we don't hate each other. We pretend to hate each other. I mean, some of it might be true, but not like full hate. Not like outright, <laughs> I won't kill her. You know? When I cross my Are mind. Are you admitting this? Yeah, sometimes it crosses my mind, but I never act on it. I don't think unless the purge is legal. Okay, so so we we we're, we're, we're super cool. Okay. <laughs> All right? She is drama, but she's all right. All right? I am not drama. I'm very peaceful. You're a ton of drama, homeboy. boy. Okay. I'm the most peaceful one. Okay, 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 okay. The intro makes me want to go back to the motherland. <laughs> what is the motherland? <laughs> Africa? That got to be Africa or something like that, right? Or Russia. I don't know where you're from. Okay? What's that, like vodka? Damn. It's not nearly. Okay, don't get drunk, my boy. Okay? You got to drive. Okay? You can't sleep here. Okay. Unless you're cool with being outside. Okay, so guys, <laughs> this is a Paloma, okay? And I, I found this recipe online, so it's just a generic recipe, so there's a lot of different Paloma does recipes. Does it have Aperol in it? No, it does not. Why? Does Palomas have Aperol in them? Yeah, well, the ones that we make at, at Flamingo do. You are acting like the Flamingo is some kind of mixology but, bar we all make shit, right? We make really good hot cocktails there, y'all. People order our cocktails all the time. I get that. But, but I didn't know that... Aperol ever was called for Paloma in my life until I no, made I, somebody I, a Paloma and they were like, it's messing the Aperol. And I was like, <laughs> Aperol. No, I mean, you could put it in there, right? But the recipes that I'm giving them, this is not like where I'm a mixologist coming in, giving them this refined recipe where I added my little personal touch. This is standard Paloma recipe okay. that you could find anywhere, you know what I mean? And so you can make this yourself. You know, you, this ain't fancy where you got to go out and buy a bottle of Aperol. I'm making a mango Paloma? Do I, does you see the, with, the, with the mango syrup? You see any mango on the, on the, the counter? No, I'm not making a mango palomo. That'd, that'd probably be really good though, huh? Mango and grapefruit? You got to think of the grapefruit background. Like what go? Like okay, here's yes, grapefruit is pretty like sour, but mango is really sweet. You know? You, you can't do it like that. I think the best way to do it is to take out your iPhone. Take out your iPhone. You never had a mango grapefruit salad before. Hi, Gilbert. Yeah, I've seen, I think I've seen those. Okay, but Google what goes with Hi, grapefruit Arkansas, and then Hi, do it like that. Like Hi, when you Mr. Google, Strong. what goes with grapefruit? Everybody's in the house, by the what way. What goes hey, with Sarah. grapefruit? Thank you guys for tuning in today. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate the love, homeboy. Rosemary. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, David, Basil. Hey, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of hey, spices. Bernard. Do you see any mango in there? Tarragon, thyme, <laughs> avocado. Do you see mango? There's no fruits at all. They put red chili flakes. Hey, just ask, okay, ask which fruits go with okay, grapefruit. Okay, okay. I teach you how to use Google, guys. She's new. <laughs> <laughs> what fruits go with grapefruit? Okay, that's a better way now. Coming in with my clear rice home, boy. They don't look a little clear now, but wait till the tequila hit them. Hey, streets. Hey, glitters and gold. Wow. Welcome. Thanks what for fruits, tuning in. What fruits go with grapefruit? Strawberries, pineapple, blueberry, and kiwi. Yeah. I mean, so grapefruit's not going to have like a ton of fruits and stuff that goes with it. That's just... That's one of those that, that's not going to be like that. Those are just a random assort, like a... No, no, sli <laughs> slide over. Assortion, is that the word? Assortment, word? assortment. Assortment of assortment. fruit. Assortment. Hey, I should be the one who barely speaks English, huh? <laughs> is assortion a word? Assortion, no. no. <laughs> How do you know? Because no one... No, never... is it a word? <laughs> assortion. Chilla making up own shit. Where are my tweezers, man? What are you looking for? Fucking tweezers, so I can push my, my stuff down. Are they right here? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we'll put them in the back there. It wasn't me. Oh, I know. I've just them. been working here for a little while. I don't know, I know who put them there, okay? Emma em have a different filing system than I do, okay? <laughs> a system is. Where do you usually put them? I thought they were always in there. I, I start putting them in front of us now that we, now that we shoot more regularly. Because before I used to keep everything downstairs, right? But now that we up here so much, I'm like, okay, don't make sense to me going up and down. So guys, I mean, this, I guess this is true tipsy bartender because you're all watching me actually like sexify the glass, you know? Because I believe in keeping it sexy. All right. Do you have to do all this? Absolutely not. I but, stand. But it helps when it's, it helps to make stuff cute, okay? And cuteness is king. Cash is queen. Cash is queen? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there you see that. 
Mrs. King. What side is prettiest to show? Right there? Mm -mm. Those lines are kind of close together, don't you think? I like this. I like okay, this view okay, better. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever the queen wants, she gets. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this with a jigger. Okay? Where's my jigger now? No, hold on. That's not that one. Use this one. Okay, so this side here is an ounce. Guys, we don't often use jiggers on the show, but to keep stuff kind of straightforward, give it two ounces. That to fall to the top is one. So give us two of those, okay? You know, you're using salsa today. Okay, just because a certain person apparently is too good for quail. <laughs> okay? Guys, when I go in the store, I pick up the cheapest tequila I can find. I okay? spilled a little bit, y'all. Okay, so she's giving us two ounces of that, right? Beautiful. Is salsa not the cheapest? Uh, it's one of them, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they fight it out to see who's going to be cheaper, okay? Now, next up, homeboy, next up, we come in behind that with a half ounce of lime juice, okay? I don't think, that might, I don't think that's going to be a half, but let's, let's try it, Not okay? quite a half. No, Henry, thank you for reminding us. Uh, we already got yeah, it. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Thank you, Henry. Good looking out, man. I appreciate that, okay? You all, you all keeping up with the show. You all know what we got going on, all right? Lime juice. Hey, Darth. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, today I got a, sh yes, yes, Yana, this is live. Yana, Jamila, okay? No, this pre-recorded and I just remembered your name from when I met you way back in the day. <laughs> okay, guys, I got to show you all one shot out of this world, okay? This out of spring break. Um, she needs she need a little bit more lime juice in here. Let me make this drink and then let me show you all this video and y'all can tell me what y'all think, okay? Squeeze in a little bit more. Hey, big girls. Guys, I already messed up because I should have salted that rim. But go that ahead. That is the half. Double. That's a half of lime juice, okay? Half ounce. Half ounce of lime juice that she just put in there. All right? Now, we're coming behind that homeboy, okay? Because we can talk this now. We can talk. I'm, looking, I'm looking at their list and see how they did it, okay? So, guess what they did? They put salt in it? They put salt in it. They hit it with a pinch of salt, you see? Now, guys, this ain't regular salt. This is coarse salt. And Shayla, tell them coarse salt is less salty than what? Regular salt. Okay. I know it seems weird, right? But these bigger grains make it less salty than the little small fine grains, okay? So all coarse salt is going to be in the big old grains? Most coarse salt, yeah. All coarse salt, yeah. Coarse salt don't have those little tiny grains. So I just dropped that salt in there, okay? Now, Mrs. Sheree, you can top that off with our little... Oh, no, shut the squirt first, sorry. This is... This, this is a grapefruit is, soda, okay? And this is the Paloma? That's it? Yeah. Just the three ingredients? Yeah. Well, then... It's just a basic Paloma. Now, I can tell you right off the bat, if you do not have, okay, grape soda, what a lot of dudes I see... Grapefruit juice? Would use grape, right, fresh squeezed grapefruit juice or grape, grapefruit juice that you buy off the shelf, whatever. Fresh squeezed grapefruit juice and soda water mixed together to call it a grapefruit soda, okay? Does that work? Who knows? So, wait. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so is there a version of a Paloma where there's no soda, where it's just juice and there's no um, carbonation or fizziness? I don't, I've never seen it, with, I've really? never seen it without that. The one that we make at the, at the Flamingo is so different then than a regular Paloma. It doesn't have any carbonation in it? No carbonation. I mean... It's they, just uh, grapefruit juice and it's mixed in with lime juice and the Aperol and the tequila. I mean, that's, yeah. not, a, that's not really a Paloma. And it's very pink. It's like, a, it's so pink. You could, I mean, you could use... Because uh, of the grapefruit juice and the apple. If you, if, you if you use a grapefruit, if you use a regular red grapefruit, you can get that, that pink color, right? But, I mean, look, it ain't exactly a Paloma. They call it a Paloma. But yeah. the point is, does it taste good? Yeah. Then, then it's fine. Okay? So, Shayla can hit this with a little straw right now. And let's see what's up. Go ahead. And there you have it! <laughs> the Paloma. Be ready, homeboy. Okay? Be ready. I can taste the salt in it. That's so interesting. You like it? Yeah, it's good. You can taste the salt? Really? Yeah, you can really taste the salt. I put in that it much. Adds, it adds to the flavor, though. Because that's, that's the recipe. That's the uh -huh. recipe. Yeah. Because Thank you, DJ. Yeah, thank, hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Listen, guys. Okay? The main feed for this is YouTube. Good. Okay? We stream out the Facebook. We stream out the Twitch. But the main feed is YouTube. Because we want you to come over to YouTube so you can become a member. Okay? Help us buy booze. Or make a donation. Help us buy booze. All right? So that, that's the thing. And then, like, 
On Facebook, guys, the episodes don't stay there. They disappear, okay, or they get cut. So if you want to watch a previous episode where me and Shayla is fighting over something dumb, you're going to have to go to YouTube to see that, okay? Just know that too, all right? It's so funny, though, because I thought my entire life that I hated Palomas. Mm -hmm. Because like anytime, anytime I made a Paloma and I tasted it, I thought it was like that. This is gross. But I guess I'm just making really shitty Palomas my entire life. Yeah, just... <laughs> So, like, wait, is this supposed to taste good like this? So. Just, <laughs> guys, just go online and Google, and some of the popular top recipes for any particular drink would come up, and you could take it from there. If you see me making some foul shit like Jaeger bomb hot dogs, okay, there's only one dude on planet Earth who's made those. It's probably me. So, okay, there's not gonna be an alternative recipe. If you see that. May God have mercy on both of y'all, all right? <laughs> You're the one who came up with that? What, Jaeger bomb yeah. hot dogs? Well, where do you think this stuff comes from? I don't know. You think someone out there going, oh, Jaeger bomb hot dogs, and then I see them go make it? Yeah. No, sir. We are the originators of a lot of shit online. Jaeger. You know? Interesting. Any crazy, crazy shit you see, we Did you have that lady um, remix any of your, uh, your videos yet? Who? The, um, everyone's a creative lady. Like, has she pulled up any of your videos and been like, everybody's so creative? And like, I, I don't know. I don't know. And now the TikTok about to get deleted. Only God knows what happened to her. She on Instagram too, right? I don't know. I've okay. only ever seen her on TikTok. Anyway, anyway, guys. So right now, spring break is going on. Okay? And the hottest shot in spring break. Stephanie, give me that title episode right there. Okay? It's called a hurricane. Okay? Yes. Spring break's hottest shot comes with a slap, slap to, to the, the face. face. Okay? What do y'all think they mean by that? Okay, check. Okay, so her name, the bartender who created this. Actually, she didn't create the hurricane. Because this has been around a while where you take this shot and you get a slap to the face. Uh huh. She put a unique twist on this, okay? She only works two months out of the year and the rest of the time she's on a sailboat sailing the world or something oh, like that. Oh, good for her. Okay, so check. Two weeks or two months? Two months. Okay. The spring break months, I guess, and then she's gone, okay? She's a traveler. I mean, you got their sexiness and that. And she's a cute girl anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. Tell me if you want to... Hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me put a poll up before we even watch it. <laughs> I'm assuming she slaps you in the face. Hold on. Let, let, me, let me put the poll up, okay? <laughs> Would you do a... Have you ever been to a spring break? Hurricane. Mm -mm. No. Shot. I've always wanted to go, but I guess that's over... Maybe in another lifetime. I never do. I never do. I never been either. I mean, I see them in the Bahamas having little parties, but I've never done that shit. Okay, so guys, check out video number one. Watch this. Okay, she spits the shot his mouth. Bam! <laughs> Kill the sound on that and replay that. Kill the sound on it because I will get busted for the music. Okay, play it again. Okay, so she spits the shot. Splashes him in the bah! face. With, <laughs> what does she splash him in the face with? That's water, okay? That's water. That's water in that. Because they ain't gonna waste alcohol. So that's water, definitely. Wow. Okay, guys. Guys, okay? Watch number two, all right? <laughs> Same girl. Okay, they're doing shots out of her little holder. She pours water over them. Now watch it. Double slaps! <laughs> Double slaps! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> watch again, watch again. Water, straight down the line. Pop, 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 double! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, Strawn said everywhere he goes, spring break. <laughs> okay, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. You can play the sound the first time and then you kill the sound the second time, yeah. Okay. Okay, one more guy. Check this out. They both spit it in his mouth. Pour water on him. Double slap. <laughs> All right. One more time. Spit it in his mouth. Okay. So not only you getting slapped, you getting COVID and tuberculosis and all kinds of other shit at the same time. But it is a sexy ass shot. Okay. It is sexy. Shayla, would you do it? That's a no from Shayla. <laughs> guys, I got a poll up on YouTube. Okay, guys, on Facebook, who can't see the poll? It's on YouTube. Would you do it? I like I say, she did not create... Some would say definitely not. Yana is like, definitely I not. I was damn, she slapped the <laughs> shit out of her. She, <laughs> that blonde girl at the end. <laughs> That's the thing. She's slapping so hard, though. And hold on, hold on. In the, in, the, in the article I read about it, right, she's saying, well, I try not to slap them so hard, right? <laughs> but on her Instagram, her hands sore from, and, and people bleeding and stuff from getting slapped. 
What do you mean people are bleeding and stuff? Because when, when she slaps you, I mean... She slaps you hard. Yeah, but sometimes people will bleed, you know? Like your nose, she hit you in the nose or something. Everybody drunk. You know, so it doesn't go according to plan. That is, that is cool. Let me see what the poll says. Mr. Strong will be in, apparently. <laughs> Somebody oh. said it's worth COVID. <laughs> I mean, she, look, she's a cute girl. She's a cute girl. 40, guys, 45% of the people polled surveyed in this chat have said that they would do it wow okay 45 percent y'all are some kinky people you are damn freaks hey, what's hey, about you are freaks huh i can toss you do it no way i get locked up yeah I don't me know, too though, but i'd want to be gentle i'd be like okay but don't slap me hard and then see, she still slapped the shit out of and you and then people got these egos right because if she slaps you hard and you expect it to be slapped i'm assuming some people gonna fight you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. like if i say okay shit i can slap you and then i go like First, the first girl, I'm like this. And then the second one, I'm like, pow! You see? Yeah, right. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? But it is fun. It's just the spit the spit in the mouth even is even worse, worse than the slap. slap. <laughs> but like I said, she's hot. <laughs> if you ask most of these guys in the chat right now, would you let a hot girl spit? I thought spit? she loves her job. Would you let a hot girl spit in your mouth? What, what do you think most of them would say? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I, a lot of dudes in here gonna be like, you know, hey, don't tell nobody, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think they have any shame. Does she own the bar? What's the liability for this shit? I don't know, dude. That's Florida. Yeah, okay? do they make them like sign waivers? Florida, Flor yeah, I, probably. Florida's a different kind of state, okay? They, they do crazy shit. So apparently, I'm, I'm reading the story, right? Reading the story. It sounds as if she goes to the bar, buys the shots at the bar, and then adds on her piece as she walks around. So she doesn't even work at that bar? She just goes to random bars? And like there's some, ki there's some kind of arrangement that they have. Okay, got you. Okay, but, but hold on now. Be advised. If someone coming in your bar selling shots and you slapping people and someone get hurt, that on the bar, dude. Right. It's just America. Like, the thing with America is you always got to go, okay, who is consuming? That's the first question you need to ask when you're going to start any business, you know? Like I always joke, the chill is going to sue me one day. And guys, trust me, if this show is successful, we can end up in court, okay? Don't say that. But my lawyer's going to be better than your little bitch ass Don't lawyer, say that. Okay? I just Don't want you that. to know that, all mm -mm. right? We're never going to go to court. Really? You can say that a lot of court? Yeah. Okay, cool. Like two Stanley Cups and you're good. Ha! I'm worth more than two Stanley Cups, silly like goose. Two Stanley Cups of bottle of tequila. Mm. We're negotiating, guys. We're not going to court. <laughs> it's going to all work out. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like I like going to court, y'all? Wait a minute. You sound like you've been before. If I can avoid going to court at all costs. You sound like costs. you've been before. I've, I was supposed to go and I didn't show up. That's another story. Were you being sued? Mm-mm. No. Do, do I want to know this story? No. no. I mean, but you kind of brought it up now, so now people are curious. They're not curious. Fuck yeah, we're curious. We're already on to the next The next what? Matter. The next what? We done done with all the slapping look, now. Proper 12. What are we getting on now? Okay, so step hit for one, okay? Punch game. God bless America. <laughs>
Strawn ordered his. I have another friend who ordered theirs too. Good, good luck, good luck, good, good luck, Strawn. Good for you, Strawn. Good luck parallel parking that thing anywhere. But you know, you know, okay, you know, like you know, Marquez Brownlee is. He's mm -hmm. this YouTuber. He's a he's a tech guy, tall, black dude, right? And he does reviews, and he did some reviews in his Arby truck, and I was like, you know what? No, dude. I mean, like he he thought it was cool, but he just pointed out some of the features, and like if you touch it, the silver it gets dirty. It rusts all Does kinds of stuff. Does it get dirty? Ew. Can yeah. Tesla come out with a uh, with a drop top? Hmm. I want them to come out with a drop top. Does it take too much like power to put the top the the thing back and forth? I mean, you why isn't there why isn't there convertible Tesla yet? Oh, it's coming. It's 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 called the Roadster. Yeah, the it's ultimate the douche. It's called a Roadster. It's coming. It's gonna be about 300,000. Dang, can somebody marry me that's rich already and just buy it for me for Christmas? Would you stop trying to get a rich husband? That's not how you get a rich husband. How, do, how should I go about getting a rich You don't husband? fucking ask, number one. And number two, you gotta, you gotta hang in places where rich people hang out. Just like by myself? I mean, just go into certain places for a drink where you know, and this LA, so and you can run And just sit there and just hope somebody No, you can't to look like a, like a hoe at the bar be flirting, you know what I mean? Like, you look like you're selling it if you do that. You know, if you just sit at the bar and... Like an escort? Yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of have an escort vibe. But you got to go in, you know, have your little salad, sit down, you know, as if you're reading the book Do you want to come something. with me? Maybe you uh, can be my wingman. What I can do? Pick, what, what, what we can do? Help me find a rich husband. What this can be like a throuple? What, what the fuck are we doing? You here? can play my gay uncle. Oh my god, Shayla! <laughs> <laughs> this is my niece. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, hold on. I know. Okay, that's stereotypical and it's wrong because all gay dudes aren't feminine. But if I was gay, I'd be very feminine. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> okay, this is a girlfriend. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> guys, if you're gay in the comments, please forgive me, okay? I'm going through a lot right now, okay? <clears throat> Private men's clothes. <laughs> well, let me tell you something about Marcus Brownlee, okay? That that um Instagram uh, the influencer. Stephen, put him on the put him on the screen for a second. Marcus Brownlee, okay? This guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all heard the story. I might have covered it last week. Yeah, what did yeah, he yeah do? that's it right there. Marcus Brownlee. Okay, just just his picture. What okay. did he do? Well, he um used the one in the red, in the red, in the red top, because that's that's more his signature look. Yeah, he is a tech influencer, right? Okay. So he reviews tech. Very smart guy. He goes out and he reviews Fisker, the company that makes cars. Okay, their their new electric vehicle. They didn't want to give it to him first. Like he kept waiting, kept waiting, kept waiting, kept waiting. Right? Uh -huh. They wouldn't give it to him, so he goes to the dealership and he gets one. Okay. He reviews the car. Okay. Said it's the worst electric vehicle he's ever driven. Dude. <laughs> Let me tell you about this dude's power, okay? This is straight power. What the value of the company, because of his review, dropped by 50%. Okay? That dude there, okay? <laughs> so when you see him touching your tail, <laughs> like, you got to be careful. Like, he's legit. <laughs> So when, like, Elon those always give him, like, cyber trucks and all, like, he got the cyber truck first, like, all the tech first. Yeah. But some, some influencers, it's not just him, there's other powerful influencers out there, but in the tech world, if you see him with your product, dude, pray he give you a positive review, because if he doesn't, your company screwed. Okay? Dang, 50%. 50%, yes. That's very, I, I Don't take mad. my word for it, guys, go Google that. That company's sweating now, because no one won that electric vehicle because of his review. I mean, he killed the line. Okay. Damn. Yeah. What was so bad about it? Did you see the review? I didn't see it, but it. Fesca is out of business by Fesca is out of business by next month. That's right. They might close down. They feel the company could collapse. Just because of this one dude. Like he took, he took the win out their sales. Are they gonna send some mobsters after him now? Probably. Like I would be scared as hell. Like one of these dudes come up with some new liquor and I review that, and then that, but I ain't got that kind of power. I tell you, oh my God, this is the worst vodka I ever had. You all be like, how much it costs? <laughs> okay, <laughs> four dollars. Fuck Tipsy Barton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Astron is saying they stopped production of vehicles yesterday. Yes, dude. That's, that's how much weight that dude carry. You might have when, killed. When did he, he, might, when did he post a review? About a week ago. It took one week. Dude, it took a day or two. That and that poor was company. Done. That dude was done. That's the thing with influencing. Like, you, people are always, oh, he's a television anchor. Give that shit to the right influencer and watch your company either grow or fail spectacularly. You know what I mean? <clears throat> look is a little different because people look at how much it costs, okay? If I go this vodka is shitty, but it's two dollars, y'all can go like, give me a bottle. <laughs> okay. Right. If I go, oh wow, this is the greatest vodka in the world, but it's two hundred dollars. Hell no, sky they're too expensive, you see? Mm -hmm. So there's a difference there. 
Are you okay? Will this vodka get the job done? <laughs> Jordan Paper. What's up, homeboy? I'm always at the naughty pig. Swing through, okay? We can bring Shayla. Okay? Though she flake on me the other day. You did flake, okay? I, I was at the naughty flake. pig waiting. I was sitting down. I didn't flake. I, I sat down waiting. I was supposed to go for karaoke. I didn't make it. Yes, I sat there for six hours waiting on you. The lies. Yeah, I didn't go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pascal. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Hit me with one more. Hit me with one more, okay? <laughs> I mean, she got a point. <laughs> she was like, if we're not going to black out, why did we Uber? Ah. I don't think blacking out is the goal. Yeah. But boy, you don't want to party with that one. That one is a party. She's like, please don't black out. Yeah, I can't. That, one, that one's a party, okay, guys? That one, that one, that one is, a, is a party. Our friends like that, you have to take them in small doses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, that one, that one is a, that one is a straight party. What's up, Arkansas? How you all doing on this blessed hey, day? Hey, Arkansas! Hey, Arkansas! Hey, Arkansas! Hey, Arkansas! So you like your Paloma, right? Yes, surprisingly enough, I thought I didn't like Palomas. <laughs> okay, so guys, just didn't like the Palomas I was making. So remember, Paloma, the Paloma had this squirt grapefruit juice in it, right? I mean, grape soda in it. I use squirt, okay? Grapefruit soda. Grapefruit soda. Taste, taste squirt. How it tastes? It's good. I've had it before. Okay, all right. So, since we're on this grapefruit vibe, I figure let's stay with grapefruit and then come up with a drink. I mean, do another drink, popular grapefruit drink. It's called a brown derby. Okay. okay? This one is whiskey, though. Okay. Yum. So we got here. We got a uh, bullet, bullet bourbon. Okay. So you want a bourbon? Let's pop this. I like. Um, let's let's get a let's get a pour spot in that. I like whiskey. You like whiskey? Mm -hmm. She's a whiskey lover. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My, my eyes probably ready. Let me cut this real quick. Let me just... You you could, me move yeah, you could turn the camera. No, we, let's just turn this camera a little bit. I scared touching this too much. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, that's fine. Stick that back in the freezer for me, if you don't mind, real quick. Okay. So, guys, we got this here. Let me just... Let me just pour this water off. <laughs> Okay, ready, Sheila? I pour it off the water. <laughs> you hear it? You hear it? Oh. oh, yeah, you got some all on your pants. That's fine. Okay, all you guys who watch me all the time, you all should be ice masters by now. You ought to see me do clear ice more than anyone else. Okay. Now. Give him a cutting board. Break this out. Oh, wow. Okay. It's always cool to watch, you know. I mean. Hey, Big Mix. Wait a minute now. Where's, where's, where's oh. my Oh, it's here. Who? Hello. The Bahamas. What's the Bahamas? Okay, let me get rid of these little shards it's like glass yeah, wow it's so pretty hey ccp how are you what's Thank up you ccp <laughs> all right when 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 my, when my, when my knife oh my god the um bre the bread knife yeah isn't it in here in here where no 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 this oh. isn't it right here no, that's a that's a real that's a that's the regular bread knife. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, she give me money. Okay, that means I gotta cut this in a different way, guys. I have to improvise. I will have to improvise. What the heck happened to my knife? <laughs> what are you doing, old boy? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I hope ready. somebody loops that. I'm somebody loops that ready. video, please. <laughs> I'm ready to hammer this ice with ya. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh. Jesus, it's trifling. Okay, all right. You must we, be re really make good boomerangs, huh? Me? Yeah. I don't even. I haven't done a boomerang in a long time. You should, you should, I think you would be good at that. What do you mean? Uh, you, 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 want, you want me to run downstairs? I mean, you can. You can. Is look it down. in the dishwasher? I know. No, it's not gonna be in the dishwasher. <laughs> okay. Okay, so so let's. Shit. 
Okay, let's... Hmm. Fuck it. Okay? Aw, not the knife one. I know. Are you sure? I mean, this is a bread knife. Who cares? You don't, you don't like bread knives? All right, guys. So you see the clearness. Okay? You see the clarity. Hello? Damn. What's your name? My name's Sky. Okay. <laughs> All right? <laughs> That was adorable. Oh. Oh, she's a trifling. <laughs> Danger is trying to start something. What do you say? What do you say? Oh. Is that the hammer you want to take to DJ Bullsack Shayla for hating this <laughs> 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 Oh, Sky! Uh -oh. I mean, I'm breaking it up in a bad way, but whatever. Oh, Sky. No, but this still works. These still cubes. I mean, like, you still. Hey, Mo Tachanka, welcome. Hi, Tachanka, where you been at, homeboy? Homeboy, home, homeboy, boy. I don't know where my knife is, though. Y are you okay? Don't slice anything up. No, I mean, like, I didn't want to use this knife. This knife ain't a knife for it. What happened to the knife? I don't know, because someone moved it. It's so cool though, cause like you can really see that the ice is clear. The fact that this is a black cutting board, it's, and the ice looks black. You know, black mm -hmm. ice. You ever heard of black ice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't deal. <laughs> we we deal with it a lot in Wisconsin. I learned from I learned about black ice from Kim Peel. Is that how you learned about it? <laughs> no. Uh -oh. Okay, you can put that down now. Let's grab me grab me a bag on there, please. The same it, one? Any empty bags in there? Yeah, sure. Let's put it in the same bag. Oh, she's a trifling. Fine, 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 fine. Here you go. Way over down. Look at these little bitty oh ices. Okay, here, take these. What the fuck you eat my oh, ice? The cold. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. The ice is cold? Man. Yeah, I was in the rain who, who knew that? Dad? Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Damn. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dump that for me, please. We got the chokes in here. Somebody's like Okay, we gonna have to figure out who stole my who stole my knife, okay? My 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 ice knife. Why are you using a knife with the scissors instead? Huh? Who took my knife? I'm curious about that now, because it's, it's supposed to be in here. It gotta be around here somewhere, Sky. Or unless it's in here, and I, I don't see it, but that's not the case. Hola, Manny. Welcome. Hey, Thanks Manny. for being back. You sure you take that downstairs? No, I didn't take... I don't, I, I don't recall seeing the knife. Was it in that bucket of stuff? No, I don't know where it Would is. it have been in that bucket? Are you saying to the maybe, 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 yes maybe I'm a, No, J Janessa's going to swing by tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. <laughs> so check this out. So we have, let's do this. So we have, we have our bourbon. Then we have, not only do you have that homeboy, this comes with fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Oh, yeah. Okay, remember a little squeeze the thing? What a little orange thing. Right here? Oh. Um, I feel like I, I saw, saw it. it. God damn. Was it downstairs? No, because it was just here. Was it it's just behind here? the cooler? Oh, okay. Yes, there we Thank go. Thank you, Stefan. Woo -wee. There we go. Okay, that was about to he be. He would have had a whole heart attack. That'd be another fight. Okay, so <laughs> the third ingredient in this, ladies and gentlemen, let's go with this. We can go with a honey syrup, okay? Yeah. So let me get some honey. Ryan, I sure did. I had Chipotle before I got here today. <laughs> Go ahead, no, Shelly. You want to elaborate on that? I, I'm never going to come here hungry again. <laughs> and I'm never going to complain about any of the recipes we use. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> you guys have my word. <laughs> Sky, the super chat. I didn't take that bread knife. <laughs> I I, I'm, wonder, I'm wondering about that because it, it was a beautiful silver knife. Don't nobody want his bread knife. Probably go to good, good with your collection. I have two whole knife sets at home. Really? You I sure do. Two, two different ones. 
Oh boy, if I find my knife in your house. Where would you Bahamas, ever? Good advice. It's, it's always the last, the place. last <laughs> It's always the last place you look. Check your butthole, Sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I'm trying to get this honey to work. Okay. So guys, this this reason why I have the stove out, right? It's because. Are you making honey? Simple syrup. Huh? That's called. It's called honey water, though. It's like honey simple, but it's just honey and water. Yeah, because honey honey is too thick. Did you watch the course? No way. When would I have ever watched your course? I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> Why would I expect you to watch my course? <laughs> okay, guys. A couple of things you need to be aware of. For instance, sugar does not dissolve in alcohol. Okay, so that's why we have simple syrup. All right. Honey also does not really dissolve in alcohol. That's why you see dudes that mix honey and water, boil them together to make it, to, to get something that, that's able to dissolve in water, okay? Because mm -hmm. this by itself would just sit there. You'll, mm -hmm. shake, you'll shake the hell out of this and it's not going to work. Okay. Cool? Yeah. Now, this honey, hard as hell, okay? It's really thick. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Emma! Yeah. Did you move my knife? Which knife? The bread knife that I used to cut ice. I don't see it in the drawer. Okay, so if you if you didn't take it, then it's most likely Shayla then. You sure? Dude, if this in this drawer. I bet it's in the drawer. Dude, please don't let it be in the fucking drawer. Oh, in this drawer! Wow. Thank you. It was kind of camouflaged, though, y'all. It was like yeah, kind of. Keep it in the straw. Keep it behind there. The one where we move A it certain red-headed person probably put it in there. Why don't we move it behind then? <laughs> That's all right. Let's you, leave it there. You want to move it behind? No, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. All right. Let's leave it there. Let's get our little part. We found the knife, y'all. I was about to get blamed for stealing something. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, come on now. Showing steel. I didn't think it was you. I blame yeah. you for other stuff, not this. Ah. Uh. Okay. I, n that song is stuck in my head now. Which one? Gold Digger song. Kanye West? Yeah, Kanye West's version. You still a Kanye fan? I like Kanye West. Oh my god. I think I've decided that he's my favorite artist. Oh my god, you saying that publicly? And Ariana Grande. Okay, right. Even though they're both very controversial. Okay, guys. Guys, this, this, this honey, take a Grab that, grab that, grab that. It's so thick. Grab that, grab that camera, okay? Look at that thick, chunky monkeys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Chunky honeys. <laughs> look at the thickness on that boy. Mm, mm, mm. That boy thick. You don't like this one? Uh-uh. I kind of want to look at it. But it looks like it's expired or something. Oh boy, this just thick, unfiltered. It's expire. unfiltered? This raw, unfiltered honey, homeboy. So what, what does that mean? Like Y'all just took it straight from the bees? Yeah. I slap up a couple of bees, took the honey, and took the girls. <laughs> and then we went to a party in South Florida and got slapped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. That was funny. Okay. So now I'm coming in. I'm coming in with a little bit of... <laughs> Stephanie's <laughs> like... <laughs> no way, did she say it out loud? What did she say out loud? Like oh, look, look, I like Kanye. Yeah, well, it is what it is, y'all. I remember after he first did the damn you thing... You win some, you lose some. I remember after he first did his crazy shit. Okay, guys, so I'm putting some water in here just to... Just to make you this less... You win some, you lose some. Okay, and that should be enough to get a nice little mix going. So, I am... Um, I Hi, Dirk, that dude. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I remember when he first got in trouble, right? You have honeycomb in your cabinet. When Kanye first started getting in trouble a couple years ago? No, when he first, when he first started this Jewish rant thing that he oh, got yeah. on, right? That everyone hates him over. And I remember like seeing people in, out in Yeezys, right? And I was like, oh my God. Out in Yeezys? And you were like, yikes. Take them Yeezys off. No, I mean, I can't tell people to take the shoes off, right? But I'm looking at it going, damn, dude. People were like burning them. Yeah, I know, I know. But he, but he, he really fucked up. Cause I mean, all of Hollywood was on the Yeezy train. Yeah, I know. I could, I could add in a little bit more syrup in there, though. a little bit more. I, I feel um, the thing about Kanye that I, that I, I don't know. I just feel like I can relate to him. Oh God, here we go. Well, my mom has bipolar. Uh huh. 
So growing up with somebody who has bipolar, it's like I, I, I give him a little bit more grace than normally anybody else would. But you think all that, know, is, all that is him being bipolar? I feel like a lot of it is his episodes that he probably has, you know? You think so? A lot of it is, yeah. The thing about Kanye is that he's just, he's, he's going to do what he wants to do and he's going to be unapologetic about it. He doesn't care about anybody's feelings. It, dude, his wife, though, I mean, like, the stuff, yeah. the stuff that she wears, I can't believe that. Yeah, he's not, his new wife. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. She always got a good showing. Yeah. She always, like, got something hanging out, you know? Yeah. I just like his art, you know what I'm saying? I like his art. I think he's a very talented artist. I like his music, and that's as, that's as simple as that. See, you know, his Kanye new stuff? His new stuff, though, Sheila? Come on. I like his new stuff. Oh, my God. And maybe he lost it. Maybe he did lose it, you know. But, but at least he ain't no rapist ain't, and pedophile. He ain't the same artist that he used to be. At though. least he wasn't on the Epstein Island list. Okay. All right. Damn, this tastes good. Damn. It smells I very know. strong. Yeah. What she's trying to say is it smells horrible. I don't think it smells horrible. That's just a bee smell. Is that the, what bees smell like? I don't know. When bees fart, who knows? It smells very, very, very strong. Okay, that's our little mix, okay? Fine. So we can just pour this in here. You can come in close, Steph. There we go. You notice the honey is a lot less thick, thick now. Yeah. Is this still going to have the same amount of sweetness? Taste it. Hmm? Give it a second and then taste it. There's a lot of honey in that. It's gonna be. It, is, yeah, it was really thick. Is it. How much water did you use? Huh? How much water did you use? I really meant. I wasn't, I wasn't big on measuring Enough. in this one. I, yeah, I just put in some. Just to loosen it up, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't like really in there trying to measure too much. Okay. Okay, guys. So while I'm gonna juice this. Can I juice it? Yes, you can. I ain't never juiced nothing like with one of these before. Oh boy, you know what juicing is in the Bahamas? Hmm? Do you know the phrase juicing mean? Like if you, a Bahamian... Like muscling? Like, 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 a, like taking steroids? No, like if a Bahamian dude walk up and be like, yeah, I juiced that. I juiced that? Yeah. Like I, like I, like I did a good job? Like I, like, 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 like let's say if I go to the, no, to the gym and I get sexual. a good... No, it's sexual. It's a sexual Oh, place. no, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> When, so when a dude go, yeah, 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 yo, boy, I juice that. I'm back now. Now at church. What's up, dog, man? <laughs> He's watching in church. <laughs> no, I it's give you the air horn, <laughs> When a dude goes, when a dude from the Bahamas go, yeah, 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 we was juicing. That means we were making love. Okay? <laughs> but making love in like a, you know, like he was really, he was really working it. Because you're juicing, like you're getting all the juices to flow. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Mm-mm-mm. You like grapefruit? I like grapefruit. Okay, grape Shayla. Guys, Shayla will be my juicer, okay? <laughs> Every time I say that, I start laughing. Grapefruit <laughs> and cultural honey. thing, okay? So put that down there, all right? I want to make sure I squeeze around the sides, because that thing's small. I mean like that. And don't press down too much, because it's a crack in it. Yes, keep going. You gotta squeeze it hard in that one, boy. Shayla juicing, homeboy. She's juicing. Oh, look at that, look at that. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Let's grab a little spoon. And let's do this, you know what I mean? See if we can get some of these, some extra juices in there. Okay. Go ahead. Who are you showing them? Go ahead. I'm keep showing going. them the inside of the grapefruit. Keep going. Keep going. You got everything? Okay. Okay. All right, homeboy. All right. It's still juicy, though. Okay. 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 Then, and then squeeze that in here, then. If you can squeeze like that. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Shayla Charay. <laughs> oh! We're going to more than just one homeboy. We, oh, we're we, doing both of them. Well, I mean, I need, both I need, halves. I need several ounces of of that, so we can come in. Do you have a juicer, like an actual juicer? Ah, uh, somewhere probably, like an electric juicer. 
Um, yeah, you know, like how people be making their own juices with carrots and stuff? Yeah, I, I had one of those. I mean, I forgot what happened it, though. I was going to ask for it. <laughs> it's like, a, clearly you don't use it. <laughs> 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 what? I want one. Yes, yes, yes. I would be happy to give you mine, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, because you're using this manual one. So. Huh? I like the manual one. Right, so if you had an electric one, I'd be like, you should let me cop that. No, 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 no. But see, I realized, okay, but now that we're doing lives, I probably need to go electric, where we have for something juices? that... For not For Because I mean, like, okay, as the show advances, right? Like, right now we buy... I didn't think the towel was a good... No, right now we buy an orange juice and we buy an pineapple juice and all that sort of stuff, But it'd be stuff, cheaper right? to juice. No, but what I'm saying, like, as the show advances, we could switch to real juices. Is that not real juice? No, but I mean, like, actually squeeze a pineapple. Actually right. squeeze oranges. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, really take it to the next level. How many ounces to that? Do y'all be juicing at okay. home? <laughs> Do y'all be juicing at home? Do y'all be okay. juicing at home? All right, so this one... Hi, Babu from Kenya. Babu from Kenya? Yeah, Babu okay. from Kenya. So, let me see. Mm. Uh, see, and the, we use grapefruit juice for our Palomas, so our Palomas end up being real, like, this color. Yeah, no, 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 that's, that's good. That's good. That's actually good. Paloma. So, guys, we can go with these three ingredients right here. We can, we, can, we can hit it with these three. Okay? So, what we can do, let's get a, I have a cube. Let's get a mixing glass. Okay? One and a half, one. Okay. <laughs> Somebody says they've never taken steroids ever. Really? Okay, thank you. What well, was the point of telling us that? <laughs> I need to fish. That's what he tells the girls. I never took steroids ever. I just naturally yeah. disrupt. Just FYI. Yeah. Okay, so Shayla, where's our jigger? What do we do with the jigger? Let me rinse it off. Okay. Look at how pretty this ice is. I don't think they can see. They can no, see can that. See they can see it. that. It they can see really that. pretty. I mean, you could take it out and. I think the ice thing is kind of starting to grow on me a little bit. Like I'm starting to understand the height. See, like once once you start going clear, there's no going back. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the thing, homeboy. That's the thing. Y'all don't know. Like I destroyed your lives. You don't even realize it yet. Because you know, the more you watch the show and the more you see clear. When you go to bars and stuff now, it's not going to be the same. You're going to be like, oh, that dirty ice? Yeah, you're going to be like, ugh, this ice is horrible. <laughs> Tipsy told me. Okay, so I want, put your, put your bourbon there. Show them what you got. You got a little bourbon. A little lit. Okay, so come on out now for that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Get your little pour in. Dang it. You got to try to do it without spilling. <laughs> you got to keep working on that. Okay. So now let's come behind that and let's hit that with a okay let me let me let me let me give that a little mix a little stir so hit me with a thanks street he says that ice looks magical right it yeah. does. That's amazing so hit me with a half ounce of our little honey water okay <laughs> clear ice elite yes sir yes sir <laughs> how much an ounce half five half, half. okay <laughs> I mean, guys, in, in the jigger, of course, there are lines that you all could see, and they show the measurements, okay? So that's like a half. You, you, you live below a half, though, Sheila. A little below. Be a little bit low? Below, yeah. Wow. You just all them, all them bubbles. bubbles, okay? All right, that's fine. Get in the glass. Beautiful. Now that's going to dissolve. Now we're coming behind that with an ounce of grapefruit juice. Uh, should we stir it? No. No, 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 just pour. Okay, beautiful. Get that in there. Beautiful. So. What is this called? This is going to be a brown derby. So pay attention to this now. This was an ounce and a half of bourbon, one ounce of grapefruit juice, half ounce of our little honey syrup, okay? Okay. There's some recipes I saw online that call for maple syrup. Um, you could do that too. But it's really up to you what you want to do. Okay. I feel like honey syrup is... Probably. Okay. So let's Ideal. let's grab that. And are we shaking it? Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Keep it sexy. Keep it sexy. Got it? It's like a light orange color. Let's see. You give it a nice shake? Yeah. You really rocked it? I think I did. What do y'all think? Okay. 
Do you care if there's pulp in it? I don't care. I like pulp. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a brown derby, okay? So, we're coming in. We can give that a nice pour. It is brown. Mm -hmm. It's brown because, I mean, it, it pulling. Because of the bourbon and the grapefruit. Yeah, it pulling the colors from that. Now, guys, I should have cut this off earlier, right? You know, because trying to get a nice little... Swirl. Yeah. It's kind of like after the fact, but hey. Ooh, can I do it? It is what it is. Ooh. Rub it around the rim. Nice. If you want, okay. Now fold it over your hands. But no, what do you, do you want? Okay, just, just fine, just drop it in. Just drop it in, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Now taste it and see if it makes sense. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. You Can like I it? Try it, Stefan. Yeah, it's sure. really, really good. If you have a reaction like that, I you, you like it? Sure. Yes, it's really good. Thank you. It's because the honey is so fresh. It feels like like the sweetener is like uh -huh. not a. You can tell the sweetener is a real sweetener, not some pre-made. Mm -hmm. So guys, Damn. now yeah. this tipsy bartender. So typically, I don't dabble in drinks like this. There's definitely more in the mixology vein of things, right? That's why you don't see me using bourbon. You don't see me using the whiskeys that often, except Jack Daniels and some wild shit, you know what I mean? But this is one that's super easy to make at home. Mm -hmm. Just remember, honey by itself is not going to dissolve. So just boil an equal parts honey and water together, just a little bit. You only need like a couple yeah. tablespoons, and you drop that in, and, and you're good to go. It's good. And this is called, one more time? Brown Derby. A brown derby. Remember, remember one and a half ounces of bourbon. One ounce of grapefruit juice, a half ounce of honey water. They call it honey water because it's honey and water boiled together, okay? We have a question. What's the question? Does grapefruit have to have a particular taste or any citrus would do? I like grapefruit is... No, but I mean this one, this one, um, this one calls for grapefruit. So if you use, if you use another citrus, it's not going to be the same drink. Yeah. 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 Somebody's saying grapefruit is more bitter, so like yeah. you definitely need the grapefruit for this one. Yeah, I mean, guys, that's the thing with, with bartending. You change one ingredient, that's, uh -huh. a, that's another recipe. One ingredient? One ingredient. You change one ingredient, yeah, and it's a different recipe. It's a whole different drink. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she like That's I, really good, though. I like I it. I'm filling this up again. You can find the camera. Just, there's our singing, our intro. And this episode is sponsored by Vaseline, okay? <laughs> you can't buy lube, get Vaseline, okay? Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline. 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 For the guy who's out of lube. All right. Oh, yikes. <laughs> okay. Or lotion. I thought lotion was... It might throw off the pH balance, but don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> yikes. Yeah, just throw it in the, throw it in the oh. freezer for me, please. Okay, Shayla's putting that in the freezer. So I put that in at three something today. So let's, let's try to remember to take that on at three something tomorrow. Beautiful. Dude, I might never have to buy ice. <coughs> I've been making my own this whole time now. We've been making our own kind of religiously. It's fine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got some more grapefruit juice. What other grapefruit juice recipe is out there that we could make, okay? Y'all get on Google and see what's up. Is there any like layered shot that requires grapefruit juice? I mean, you could do a layered shot for grapefruit juice if you like wanted to. Right? Because the grapefruit is probably going to sit at the bottom. Yeah, but if you, if you, right, okay, if you go, if it can sit on top of the grapefruit, I mean, like, what, vodka? That might mix in, though. So, but, like, the grapefruit needs to sit on top? No, 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 no. I'm Bailey's just saying, I'm saying vodka should sit on the grapefruit, and then you can get something to sit on the vodka. Mm hmm Okay? Guys. What kind of grapefruit recipes are they, are they all see? Let's see. What you can say? What you can say? Okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. What's up? What's up? Okay, so guys, grapefruit recipes. What y'all got? Oh, someone said Greyhound. Okay, Salty Greyhound Dog. Greyhound is not No, we could do creative. it. No, but let's do a Salty Dog. Let's do a Salty Dog. A, what is a Salty Dog? A Salty Dog is vodka, grapefruit juice, but it has a salted rim. Tachanka, I'm so sorry. I, okay, so I saw your DM, Tachanka, but when I clicked on the, the video, it was like 15 minutes long. 
So I'm going to have to watch it on my own time and then we'll have to address it later. But I didn't want to have to like pull up a 15 minute video while we're doing the stream. But I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. My apologies. And, and I must have not seen your super chat. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes we have a lot of shit going on. So like, you know, yeah. I, I just missed that. Sorry, man. I'm going to watch it though and address it. I'm a little nervous about what I'm getting myself into though. <laughs> We're sorry, Lord Tachanka. Just so you know, because... Hey, where my little, where my little, where my little uh, drinking glasses? Where are my, where are my rocks glasses? So we can make this salty dog. Why can't you find nothing today, Scott? Hi, I Jessica. Thank you for no, not that, again. not that, Welcome not that. back. Not that. Are you talking about the plain ones? Yeah, I'm talking about the ones that we put it old-fashioned in. Oh, I don't, I don't see any uh, actually. Yeah. It's probably in your um, dishwasher. Oh no, I see them here. Someone put them in this, and this had to be you. Who? You. I what is a banker's lunch? I'll take the blame. It was me. Was it you? It was me. Anybody know no, what a banker's lunch is? No, I didn't do that, but it's fine. If you got to blame somebody else, I ain't, I'll I ain't blaming. Blame. I don't fully blame you. I'm just joking. You, you notice the word fully? <laughs> <laughs> and his facial expression after that? <laughs> well, hold on. Okay, let's, let's just be honest. I feel that you might have some responsibility, so okay. I don't know. Because I've been doing these live streams with you for how long now? Like a month and a half. Mm -hmm. And I've always put the cups right there in that same spot. I know, but see. Except yesterday I wanted to piss you off, so I just put it in a different spot. So it was you. It wasn't me. I'm trying to think of a reason. Gin and juice? Is that grapefruit? Is gin and juice grapefruit juice? No, that's orange juice. What's wrong with you, homeboy? Somebody says Snoop Dogg like gin and juice. Yes, that's grape. That's, but I'm they sorry, said that's, it was grapefruit. That's orange juice. Do you have any ratchets? Okay, hold on. So guys, check this out. So I orange juice doesn't sound that good. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's go to Salty Dog and you could taste it and tell them what you think it tastes like, okay? Okay, what's a Salty Dog? So I can show you right now. Okay, guys, this is a Salty Dog. I even Google in this one. So if this wrong, forgive me, my lord, five cent, okay? But I'm a bullshit in that bartender. I'm allowed to get stuff wrong. Sky, what do you mean you're bullshit in that bartender? I don't know. Okay. So guys, this is my. <laughs> 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 that look nasty. Look. Huh? look a little nasty. Huh? You all scared of pop? Huh? Ew. <laughs> you mean ooh? Oh god. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. No, 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 no. I hear a lot of ooh. I want to do it. Hey, Chris. Do okay, it. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me take it off. I hear a lot of ooh. Ooh, my God. Ooh. Did y'all hear that, though? Hey, P. Keith. Ooh. 1,000. Okay, hold on. Let's, 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 let's come around. Let's come around like this. Yeah, you were so aggressive with it before. Hey, hey Yonif. Because I, I had pop all over I it. I have a on. question for the audience. Oh, God. It is very random, but I, I want to know. Do y'all like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? And if you do like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, do you drink it with, do you eat it with a glass of milk? And when you eat it with a glass of milk, do you dip your sandwich into the glass of Dude, milk? Dude, how many fucking questions is that in one? <laughs> what is this? The SAT? What are you doing? I'm just curious because. God damn. So Apparently guys. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't know. Do you like peanut butter or jelly? And if you do like peanut butter and jelly, do you put it in white bread? And if you do put it in white bread, do you sit and eat it in the pool? And if you don't have a pool, do you sit in the barn? Okay, but if you're not in the barn, it's a sunny day and you're walking down the beach, what? Like, Jesus Do you Christ. dip your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in a glass of milk? They even forgot the original question. That shit's so That's long. That's the question. Thank you, Joshua. Okay. So, guys, I got a little salt rim here, okay? Nothing special. Just a little bit of salt on that rim. Somebody asked a really good question. Do you remember the first drink you learned to make? Me? Yeah, do you? Like your first cocktail? I took a bartending class, so it was, I mean, I was learning drinks there. I didn't know shit. I still don't know I shit. I don't remember. I, think I just get to pretend better now. I feel like my first cocktail was Hooterade. Hooterade. Hooter because that's where I learned to bartend. At Hooters. Mm -hmm. She's Hooters alumni, guys. We had something called Hooterade, which is always, I'm always telling him he's sipping on Haterade. Okay. So, Sheila, so give most people don't dip it, though, it seems they like. They don't dip it? In so, in a lot of people drink it w with milk, but they don't dip it, I think. Okay. So, Sheila, let's grab some ice. <laughs> is this rim salty enough? What y'all think? I think Not so. more salt than this. Is this enough salt, Stephanie? Right, right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay, we got a super Japanese! Sticker. Thank okay. you. Hippo out of water surrounded by his hippo squad. What's up? What's up? Oh boy, I really in the anime right now. There was a time I could read his name, you know, but I can't do it anymore. No way, really? That's Hell really cool. I had a Japanese girl. That's awesome. And she, you know, like I was taking a class. Okay, so. Manny, but I but I heard that people really like to dip their peanut butter PB and J's in milk. You all have the weirdest conversations. I don't okay? like soggy bread personally mm -hmm. but okay it's a thing so let's check this out let's get let's get this let's get some clarity up in there okay 
I'm just trying to get some clear pieces. I mean, all these pieces are technically clear. Sheila, let's get some vodka in the bad boy. In this hut? Yeah. How much? I like an ounce and a half. Not like and that. We're using put, the AU vodka. Put it in the boss pub. Okay, you, are you, okay, go ahead. I'm going to be using the AU vodka today. Okay. Vodka. Is it straight out of Russia? I love how you keep spilling. But that's fine. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Guys, look, look at the ice in there. Clear as hell. Okay. Now I come behind that with my little grapefruit juice. Hopefully that's enough. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Now I come behind that. Let me get a little bar spoon. Let me get this a nice little stir. Okay, beautiful homeboy. Now this is salty dog. Because it's a salted rim, like you wouldn't necessarily put a straw in that because the whole point of this is to taste the salt yeah. as you as you drink it. You but see? it's literally vodka and grapefruit juice. Yeah, which with, is a great... With a salted rim. Vodka and grapefruit juice. Okay, remember I tell you all it depends. Every ingredient has a different name. Vodka and grapefruit juice is a... Greyhound. Greyhound. Vodka and grapefruit juice with a salted rim is a... Salty dog. Yes, yes. Okay. Go ahead, taste, taste this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> it's good though. You like it? Yeah. I got a little bit too much salt. It's good. I think it's really good because of the fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Yeah, honestly. that's what I'm telling you. Okay, that also makes a difference. Fresh squeezed stuff. However, Nick said mid ass drink. <laughs> Nick probably <Nick, Nick laughs> mixologist in here. In here, hey. Yeah, look at this dude making these drinks. <laughs> With these people watching. I'm a natural born hater. Mid ass drink. It's actually okay. really good though. Corny ass grapefruit. Okay. A grapefruit stale. Okay. Keep on hating, homeboy. Keep on hating, okay? I love the hate. It doesn't feel like a two-ingredient, three-ingredient three drink. It really feels like a cocktail. And by the way, the best taste in drinks only got a few ingredients, okay? If you see something with 95 different ingredients, that's going to be problematic because one or two of them ain't going to go together, okay? Who, who does drinks with 95 ingredients? I don't know. This dude right here, okay? <laughs> Adios m and Tokyo Iced Tea, Long Island. Got, they all got like at least six different liquors. Yeah, but I mean, do they really taste that they good? They do taste good. That's why people be ordering them. No, they order them because it's cheap. No, they order it because it gets you lit and it tastes good. Yeah, that's you don't have to taste the alcohol. Okay, exactly. Notice what she just said. You don't have to taste the alcohol. That's the point of those which drinks. Which qualifies it as a tasting good drink. Which is why when you go to a fancy ass place and you go, excuse me, ma'am, may I have a Long Island iced tea? They go, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't serve those here. Okay. That's excuse true. me, ma'am. May I have an adios? No, 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 no. We don't serve those here. No, sir, if you're kind, get your ass out of here. Yeah. Okay? Because that's the sign of ratchetivity, homeboy. Okay? Most bars don't do that. Somebody asked, what do you put in a rum punch? You. A rum punch? Yeah, what do you put in a rum punch? I mean, what is a rum punch? Because there's no set recipe for a rum punch. Fruit punch? The Hawaiian fruit punch? I mean, if you do that in rum, that could, technically is a rum punch. But I think people would want like more like... Jamaican rums, and then, okay, when she finished this TikTok thing, <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead to TikTok dance. They're closing that anyway, so get it up while you can. <laughs> okay? They're about to get banned, so yeah, they get, get it done. I tip, you probably see like a Jamaican rum, and then if you have a Jamaican rum, you probably can have some of them fancy syrups, like, uh, like Orjat syrup or something like that in there, which you put in like my Is that how you say that? That was always Orjit. You know, um, then you, um, I, I think it's Orjat. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. Then you probably have some fruit juices in there and then top with some dark rum, dark, dark Jamaican rum like a Myers, you know? Why, you want to make a rum punch? I don't know, somebody, what? I'm okay. not really a rum girly myself, so I don't Okay, well, let, me, let me see rum punch and tipsy bartender what comes up and then I can just Google rum punch by itself. Okay. Rum punch, tipsy bartender. Lots Somebody of time, God, I, I see what you're saying. Like, I just don't want to derail the show that quickly, you know? Every, everything has its time. <laughs> everything has its time. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody said, did you fire Jessica? Who is Jessica? Oh, a tipsy girl? No, 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 no. Me and Jessica cool, man. I don't know who Jessica is. Sheila just came. She don't know the history. Janessa? No, she'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. Me and Janessa went to Barney's Beaneries yesterday. Oh, we left here. cool. We all talking shit about me? We ran into Max. We all talking Can shit about me? Can you believe we ran into Max? We all talking shit about me? Wasn't nobody talking... Okay, anyways. 
I'm just asking. You could, you could tell me. I won't hold it against you. You were like, oh my gosh, Sky. Oh. No, dude, I know I came up. I had oh to come up. Oh my gosh, Sky. Dude, when you Google rum punch, everything is tipsy bartender. God damn. So what is a rum punch, y'all? What, what do you put in your rum punch? Okay, hold on. But okay. Thank you, Frank. That's so Okay, hold on. So I'm looking at Jamaican. Okay, Jamaican rum punch, tipsy bartender. Oh, somebody said you haven't aged since 2011. I find that extremely hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, homeboy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's been a rough 10 years, but... 2011? Oh, not to 2011. It's been a rough 13 years. Okay. So, okay, this rum punch is coconut rum. Okay, white rum, coconut rum, dark rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, lime juice, grenadine. Mm, Weren't you mm. just saying that drinks ha that have 15 ingredients are probably... <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that too, actually. Yeah, hold on. Notice what I said. The simple stuff is the easiest and the most likely yeah, to go yeah. together, okay? But there's some <laughs> shit out there that got a bunch of ingredients. I tell you, this is the best tasting thing. We I, I think we came up with this or someone gave this to us. I don't remember. But, okay, Sheila. Rum, white rum, coconut rum, and dark rum? Yeah, they all in. Yeah, they all rums. Oh, what you, kind of white rum? Bacardi? Oh, sorry, you've Bacardo. never seen... I have drinks that have like six different rums in it. For what reason? It's all rum. Because this is America and this fucking tipsy bartender and I came here <laughs> to experience freedom. Okay, so when I look at that flag, I know I can pour whatever the fuck I want. Freedom, homeboy! Okay, that's a patriotic phrase. Put it on your t-shirt, okay? All right, so you need me to go grab Myers Dark Rum. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's are we using Jamaican rum? Okay, hold on, Caribbean hold on, rum? hold on. Let's make sure we're making this first, okay? Because that this, these are all my recipes. I'm trying to see what other people got out there. All right, let me let me see let me see if someone else got okay, something. Can I hit this? Uh, the the yeah, Derby, yeah. 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 Stefan's polishing that one. You want to try this one too? Thank you. The Saucy Dog is pretty good. No, I'm okay with right nothing. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Damn. How come I'm the only dude who have rum punch? Nobody else got a rum punch? Damn. Really in the whole world? Yeah, it's really. Oh, because I put in tipsy bartender. Never mind. Sorry. Let me just put in rum punch. Wow. <laughs> Somebody said, don't be a narcissist, guy. No, I was wrong. <laughs> I was searching rum punch tipsy bartender. I didn't, I, thought, I didn't know the tipsy bartender was in there. I thought it was just me. I was like, no one else made this? Okay, but I think you have um, Malibu up here. Okay, so grab. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're getting into, oh, the big boys now, okay? These are you the heavy hitters. Caribbean rum? <laughs> okay, so this is a light rum, dark rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, lime juice, grenadine. Okay, I like that. I like that. Is that your? Not somebody no, 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 no. These other dudes. I don't want it to be me. What kind of white rum, though? That way you all could hate on it and blame them. Huh? Uh, yeah, like that, like that, like that, like oh, that, okay. like that, like that. Okay. Someone say, don't be narcissistic. I, listen, I, I was searching rum punch, tipsy bartender, right? And then I forgot the tipsy bartender was I'm in there. I'm the one who must have created this so, recipe. So I look and I, everything was tipsy bartender. I, I, I created the rum punch. I didn't, I didn't create the rum punch. I'm from the, <laughs> listen, I'm from the Bahamas. And I remember as a little boy, my uncles made a rum punch. And they used Bacardi 151. And I remember this girl tasting it and going, oh my God. Okay? I was a little boy. That's the first vivid... She Image said that? In my mind, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Was it a good? Because it was fucking potent, okay? <laughs> and they didn't have no jungle juice. They had one, you know, one of them, little, one of them bowls that you come in with a little scoop of. So everyone was taking a scoop. Oh, wow. But that one scoop would knock your ass out. Oh my God, okay? Hey, G-Money has a question, Shayla. G-Money, yes. I ate today. <laughs> I will be eating from now on before I get here. Really? Why? Huh? Sky had to sit me down and talk to me about my behavior <laughs> and about how I always come running through the door hungry, asking for food, asking for this, asking for that. And so I was like, you know what, Sky, you're right. Hello, was I nice? Was that was I nice when I called you? I didn't even really talk to you. I just left you a message. <laughs> Hold on. All I said, okay. Mm -mm. I mean, we kind of already here. But okay, let's not go too deep. No, it's fine. It's all fine, I said fine, was, fine. Shayla, make sure you eat before you I come. I will be eating before I come. So we don't have to on. fucking try to feed you, okay? Ah! You know? I think there's like a few more egg bombs thrown in there, but... Did I curse in a message? <laughs> Thank you, Arkansas. <laughs> Welcome, my little fish. I curse in a message? Yes. I was yeah. trying to be nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oof. That wasn't a nice message? <laughs> 
It's okay. Okay, no, but let me tell, let me tell you what's special about you. You can handle me, you know what I mean? Like, I could relax and say some shit to you. Uh, Whereas, like, someone else would be deeply offended, you know what I mean? Can I, can, can I, um, can I tell you a secret? Oh, God. Will you check this cabinet right here? Uh-huh. Check it right now. Which cabinet? Really quick. All the way on the left side. Uh-huh. <laughs> Will you grab that red package? Oh, this is yours now? So, <laughs> I brought ramen noodles from home to keep in his cabinet. <laughs> so whenever I show up hungry, I'll have something to eat. Hey, look here. Homeboy, oh I appreciate it. <laughs> okay? That's See, look I'm at talking. me thinking ahead. That's what I'm talking about. That's I'm, I'm solution-based, okay? Okay, that's what that, this is why there is love. Look at this, man. Okay. And if y'all like ramen noodles, beef is the best flavor. Okay, this the kind of shit that says, yeah, I got my shit together. Okay, I'm going places. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what the fuck this says. <laughs> I'm going places. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. God damn. The girl showed up with ramen noodles. Okay? Okay, so. Who's a big girl? <laughs> I'm the big Welcome girl. Welcome to the executive now. level, homeboy. I'm Welcome the to the executive. This is a future CEO right here. Okay? <laughs> That's how you know. Once you see ramen noodles, you know, oh shit, they're in business. <laughs> they are okay? in business. Okay? Whenever I had a business deal and I see ramen noodles, homeboy, I know, okay, this shit's about to get real. Okay? Because this dude's hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. So we're grabbing Myers Dark. Heaven, no, this is not live. Okay? <laughs> we're grabbing Myers Dark ramen. What else? Okay, hold on. Let me look at this recipe again. All right? <laughs> Dude, that is the fucking god damn. No more fighting. No, I okay. this there's love now. Yay. Okay, so this <laughs> this black love, homeboy. Excellence. Okay, <laughs> this is what Diddy was talking about. No, no, let me not mention Diddy. Sorry. Okay, this is what Diddy meant. Wait, hold on. This everybody eats. <laughs> everybody eats. <laughs> okay, light rum, dark rum. So Myers, Ricardo, Caribbean rum or regular rum? Ooh man, now you put it like that. No, let's let's go let's go with Myers Dark Rum, okay? Myers so, Dark Rum, this white rum, Bacardi. Yeah, let's go with Bacardi. And then what else? Guess Grenadine? what? Guess what? Guess what? We we can play with this a little bit. So Grenadine. We, so get get Myers, get Grenadine. Don't I have Grenadine in here somewhere? No. Um, I feel like I saw it downstairs. Okay, no, we got a Grenadine right here. Okay. It's got a little bit, but that works. Okay, so light rum, dark rum, pineapple juice, okay? <laughs> uh. Guy, play the message for us. <laughs> Shayla, play the message for us. Did you, save, don't hear did you save the message? It's, it's there. I didn't have to save it. It's like in the text messages. No, it would disappear. Uh uh. It'll disappear. Oh, shit. <laughs> that will be used against me in court. <laughs> <laughs> and what else? <sighs> you can't play that shit, dude. <laughs> but that's the thing. The minute we fight, this fight gets serious, that message coming out. Listen to what he left me. <laughs> Okay, 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 hold on now. Okay, so I need pineapple juice from downstairs. Okay. okay. So, give, yeah, give me pineapple juice and give me um, a dark rum, okay? That's it? Yeah, pineapple juice and a dark rum. And let's, let's switch this, yeah, let's switch this to Ricardo coconut rum, okay? okay. Ricardo coconut rum, pineapple juice, Myers. Yeah, so Myers, Ricardo. <whistles> Boy, it's tough. All right, it's tough out there. Got to put this in the fridge before my ice melts. Okay, guys. By the way, I have to make ice every day because we're using so much clear now. Like, you know, I'll go bankrupt constantly ordering. Thank you, Arkansas. But we got, thank you, Arkansas, for that. You know what I mean? Okay, all right. <laughs> love, hate. Like, yeah, we love to hate each other. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you said coconut, Jack Jack. We can be fighting soon. Huh? Ricardo Coconut? Ricardo Coconut. I only see b banana and pineapple. No, there's a coconut somewhere in there. Look, just look around. It might not be on that shelf. Oh, I found it. No, okay. that's not it. So, Stephanie, hit me with another one, okay? Box it up. What's that? Uh, all right, now you're the expert. Is this enough to get 20 people plastered? 15 bottles of vodka? Uh, yeah, I should do it. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, but they look, that look like 15 handles, right? They, they, are they 7 they, Are they 7 they, they look kind of big. Yeah, they're huge. They're huge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you a boy buying 15 handles for 20 people? Okay, one of them is murder. Let <laughs> me with another one, let me with another one. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Guys, this is what you missed by not going to college, okay? This is what you missed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you missed out on, okay? Had you gone, you'd have experienced this, okay? And be left with about 300000 in debt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the college experience. Dude, most people ain't going no more. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's like 50-50 where the dudes go now. Doesn't even make sense. Yeah. I, I think if you, if you are going to college, you better pick the right major, homeboy, because... Chances of being around by the time as you graduate is slim to none. Okay. Welcome, Daryl. Okay. Thanks for watching. So we going we going to make a rum punch. Sheila, grab me grab me um grab me an orange uh, orange out of there, please. Let's yeah. Let's grab two oranges. How about that? Troy is asking, does anyone else put nutmeg in their rum punch? Yeah, I've seen it done. I've seen it done. I've seen it done. Guys, I'm not the creator of the rum punch, okay? Just number one. Number two is I don't have the best rum punch. I just happen to be from the Caribbean, and that's about it, homeboy. Uh, give me, uh, use this knife. Catch. Oh my God. One of these days, I can get through that, okay? When the apocalypse starts, I can be in the back here. I always wanted to do that. Okay, you can throw it. <laughs> That was my left hand, my bad. This is the left hand? <laughs> oh, we got a super chat. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Thank, Thank you, you Dom. Keep doing what you're doing. Much love. Thank, Thank you, you, Nick Clark. Please make sure you keep coming home, boy. Okay? Are it's you related to Chris? Kent? Chris says he definitely buys alcohol like Mike Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Okay? Hold on. Okay, before, before I go into this, let me, let me cover something from the news. Okay? Let me, let, me, let me talk about this real quick. Okay. So, down here... All right, we, we, we talked about, okay, guys, so this this kind of a big deal, the intermittent fasting one. You ever did intermittent fasting? I always intermittent fast. Okay. This story is saying. What is it saying? That people who intermittent fast linked to 91% increase in risk of death from heart disease. Wait, what? Yeah. Now. How did they possibly do that study? Okay, here's what they say about the study, though. With this particular study. Intermittent fasting as in just like not eating when you first wake up? Yeah, they follow 20,000 people, okay? And. 91% is crazy. But the only thing with this study that puts a little disclaimer on this that, that, makes, this, yeah. that makes it questionable is they, they left it up to you to tell them what you had going on. They didn't monitor you and watch exactly what you eat. So they, don't, they didn't pay attention to what you ate. They just wanted to make sure you were intermittent fasting. And okay. they took your word for it, okay? Okay. And okay. so these people, you know, had a 91% increase in heart disease what? and stuff like that. This, so th Was this study, take, it took years, right? Yeah, it took a couple years. But it wasn't like peer-reviewed. It wasn't, it wasn't properly done. They were going by word of mouth. So, and so in the future, a, a study has to be done where they monitor very yeah. specifically what you eat and when you eat and take it from there. So I don't know how good intermittent fasting is. I know for me, that's the only way I tend to lose weight yeah, is when I, I intermittent I, fast. I like intermittent fasting. I didn't realize it was a bad thing. But, we, but like I said, that's what I'm saying. There's an asterisk beside this. We don't know. But I would say this. Food, food companies, companies just be mad and they ain't getting enough sales. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mads, welcome back. Thanks Mads, for being I here. like you. Me and you can talk consistently Mads, but together. The, but the thing is, dude, Ozempic got them shit in their pants because Ozempic putting a dent in it because once you're doing Ozempic, you tend to eat, eat less. My you know? friend posted on her story. She said Ozempic has Hollywood in a chokehold. I mean, everyone using it. A lot, a lot of Hollywood dudes are using wow. it, for sure. Yo, Pascal, I'm going to come on screen at some point. I can wish you cheers, okay? Somebody's fasting for you Ramadan. You can step on screen whenever you Happy want. Happy Ramadan. Ramadan. I want them to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, at some point, I will come on. Well, I heard, though, okay, so I usually, what I do is I wake up and I won't eat anything and I'll go to the gym, but I'll drink like a, a Celsius or something, like some kind of caffeine uh -huh. to, like, you know, get me pumped up. But my friend told me what I need to start doing is just have like a high protein breakfast in the morning. Mm-hmm. So when you do work out, your body has something to like burn instead of like muscle and, and oh, a super chat. for energy. Oh, what's, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, Thank Lone you, Lone Wolf. Wolf. Okay, Shayla wearing that shirt as well. Half audience don't know what, what that is. Absolute fire. fire. Miss my grandma. Y'all don't know what hot water cornbread is? You, if, can, should we start a, start a poll? I don't know what hot water cornbread you is. You don't know what hot water cornbread is? Oh boy, where are you from? Well, you're not. Exactly. I know what cornbread is, but it wasn't with no hot water. Do okay. y'all know what hot water cornbread is, yes or no? Why don't you explain to us what it is? Well, it's just a staple in like African American culture, I suppose. Um, it's just, it's cornbread, but you don't have all the ingredients, so you make hot water cornbread. 
Oh, so you just it's, use the cornbread mix with hot water? It's cornbread. You, you make hot cornbread from hot water, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's like a thing in Southern culture, especially like you okay. have it with your collard greens and stuff. So guys, I need some fresh orange juice, and we don't eat collard greens in the Bahamas either. What do you call them? You don't call them collard greens? We don't eat them. You don't eat them at all? Mm, not really, no. What is bohemian food? What is, like, what is it? What's the dishes consist of? Uh, conch. That's like a snail, a sea snail. Conch or conch, if you want to be pronounced like American. Uh, cornbread ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, Just made some. Potato salad. Maybe you made some hot water cornbread. Macaroni. Rice. Oh, Season so it's rice. very similar. It's similar, but ours better. Gerard says it's a southern thing. I doubt. Yeah, it is. A, it's, a, it's a southern thing, for yeah. sure. We ain't from the south home, boy. This is the north up here, exactly. okay? You make cornbread on the top of the stove instead of baking in the oven. Oh, okay. For hot water cornbread. I yeah. grew up eating cornbread, though. It's also um, an event, a, an, an event that my friend put together. Cornbread, so. hot water? Hot water cornbread, yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah. Now y'all know, y'all gotta try it. You wanna cook some for us? Y'all gotta try some with your soul food you next want, time you eat. Can you cook it? Milwaukee ain't the South. Can you cook it? <laughs> Milwaukee's not the South, but the Great Migration did take place, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Shayna. Can you make hot water cornbread? I personally have never made hot water cornbread, but I've, it's easy, so. Really? So you could do it? I could do it, okay. yeah. It's so you can do it here, and if this tastes like ass, we will be sure to let I you know. I love mine. Fried, it's fire. Oh, fried hot water cornbread. Mm. So it's just cornbread mixed in, and water, right? I've had that. It's we, like cornbread patties. It's, you, you make them similar to how you make pancakes. Yeah, but I've had hot water. I've had water and cornbread, but still baked it. Interesting. It, it'll still rise. Okay, so let's get some ice in this glass. We shaking this, okay? Get some pour spots in the bottles. Do you need please. more ice? No, nah, I mean we should be good. I have the ice here. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Okay, we got another one from Lone Wolf. Thanks, Lone Wolf. From the north. LOL. Sky relax. Most black people came from the south, especially Chicago. Oh boy, I'm from the deep south. <laughs> <laughs> I deep, I'm, from the, I'm from a deeper part of the South than you. <laughs> Somebody says she washes her cornbread, basically. <laughs> <laughs> With hot water. Okay, so Are Sheila. Are you going for the first time, Mr. No, no, no. So let's, let's go in here. Let's, let's show them what we pour in. And let's get, let's get, um... Look, let me see this recipe, but we can do our own thing with this recipe. So this recipe might work out, it might not, and this can be probably red at the end of this, okay? So, so let's go. So let's do this. So let's do, okay, this can be kind of potent, what do you think? Okay. Let's well, these drinks are still full, so. I'll okay, tell you what, let's do an ounce of white rum, okay? And we're using Bacardi. Way to go, way to show them it before. You learned it, homeboy. Cardi B. She said her name came from this, right? I don't know. Did she said that? It name? reminds me of it, though. What's her sister's name? Hennessy, Carolina. Yeah. yeah. So it makes sense, right? Does her sister rap too? I mean, not Carolina. What the fuck? Her sister raps too? It's Hennessy something, I'm pretty sure. Does her sister rap? I don't know. I don't think so. Her sister's so pretty, though. Really? Like, so pretty. Really? And she's bi. What that's supposed to mean? Me and a dude could tap it together, and that's supposed to be nice. Well, I mean, she's play this too. Okay. Um, let's go with this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Coconut rum. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? What? Hit me with another ounce of that. What are you laughing at? Wait, what is that? <laughs> like when girls go, oh, I'm bi. Because guys would start smiling and go, oh, wow, dude, that means I can get at her and another girl. But that don't always work out like that. Because yeah. she might be like, no, no, I want a devil threesome, which is two dudes, right? <laughs> And so what are we supposed to do? Like, just be looking at each other? You know, like... If the girl's yeah. bi, why would she want two dudes? Because... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but she could still want two dudes because she's the girl. I, I don't know. But she's bi. She could still want two dudes, okay, you're though. you're right. You're right. You're right. Actually, straight girls can want two likely. dudes, too. Okay? I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? Huh? I'm just saying. Straight girls can want two dudes, too. So that was very unfair against bi girls, okay? I'm sorry. 
No. But y'all women need to have one at a time and stop being greedy, okay? No bias. Hell wrong with y'all. All right? Now we're coming in with some dark Jamaican rum. This is Maya's own boy, okay? How much? Equal um, parts? Yeah, we can go down to that too. I don't like dark rum. Do you I'm, like it? It's an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste. That's why What does it remind you of? Death. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor. Yeah. Like, I mean, this got all kinds of herbs. Like know, dark and stormies and stuff. It's like... Like, smell, smell how many, like, herbs and spices in this. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Guys, it's a lot going on. Guys, you see how American I've become? Herbs and spices, okay? <laughs> it's herbs, okay? The fucking thing have an H. It's herbs. Okay, but whatever, Don't whatever. Don't say herbs? Yeah, a lot of people say herbs. Do y'all say herbs with an H or do you Hold say on, what herbs? did the British say, okay? Herbs. Herbs is crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's see. Herbs, British pronunciation. Herbs reminds me of Herbie Fully Loaded. Okay, how to pronounce? With Lindsay Lohan. Listen. Herb. He's wrong. Herb. He's wrong. How do you, who, who is he? He's British. And is he the spokesperson for how words are pronounced? Well, I don't know. I, they created the language, so I'm just going with what they say, okay? He it's called the English for a reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just a hater guy. Okay. Yeah, Rocket just says herbs. Herb is my neighbor. Exactly, Jack. Like, yes, I get that because y'all are American, okay? Y'all <laughs> tend to leave letters and shit out, okay? <laughs> okay? Let's, let's be clear. Like the word P-R-O-G-R-A-M. What is that? P R O G program. Okay. That's not how the English spell program. They say program? They go P R O G R A M M E. Programmy? Okay. And then, like, when you go theater. Programme? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> we shook this up. Put your finger. Uh, hold on. What you think tastes better? Pineapple juice or orange juice? Definitely orange juice. Okay. Anyway, let's put it, let's put it down so pineapple. Yeah, we got a, we got a pause spot right We got a jigger right there. Put it in. Okay, so let's go with two of the orange juice since it's fresh squeezed. Two ounces? Two ounces of that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Guys, we're just making shit fresh up. We don't know how this can taste. Aww. One more. Got it? Beautiful. Now, okay, we come in behind that with a little grenadine. Okay? We're going with a cap of grenadine in this bad boy. Somebody said I'm, I'm British and I say herbs with an H. That's very You're just trying to be American homeboy. Stop lying. God save the queen. I mean the king. One of them. Okay. Look at that color. Look at the color on that. We used to call the losers at school herbs with an H in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> used to call what? Losers at school. <laughs> Manny, were you a bully? Manny. Okay, hold on. Shake it and keep it sexy. Is it a right? hurricane glass or a hurricane glass? <laughs> I can't help it if y'all mispronounce the, the Queen's English or the King's English now. Yeah, Mads, this is going to be one strong drink. It's probably going to be potent, yes. Look at that, though. Look at the clarity on that, homeboy. Woo, Lord of mercy. She is clear. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'm supposed to smack it where the, where the glass combines with the tin. Where the glass separates from the tin. Where the glass separates. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's, let's show them. Let's show them. Put your finger on what, you, on what you're talking about. So hold on, let's, the let's, glass let's, is... Put it, put it down for a second. Put it down for a second. Okay, guys. So just going with the aerial view, right? Okay, so this glass is stuck in this tin. The glass is leaning backwards, okay? If you see this. Okay, so the glass is leaning back like that, up like that, okay? Glass is leaning like that, all right? So there's a space here that I can get my finger in. I can't get my finger in the back here. So where I can hit the glass is where these two begin to separate and I begin to be able to push my finger in. That's the best way to, to, to kind of describe it to you guys. Go wide again, Sam. Okay, break it up now, let's go ahead, okay. separate them. Right here. Yes. No, 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 no. You said you're hitting the back of the glass, though, Sheila. You, you, you don't want to hit it in the box. You want to hit it on the side right here, where, where it begins to separate. No, but you got I'm not strong enough, y'all. No, you got to hold it steady, right? And just hit it here. And then it can come out. I even hit that hard. Yeah. Well, lucky and I can't ever do it then. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
Right. I don't even know if that's going to fill that, but let's go pour. It might not fill it. Is it enough? The glass may be too big. Who knows? Are we running out? Oh, yeah. Are we going with that, homeboy? Are we going with that? It's pretty, though. Hmm? Yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. It's a pretty color. Maybe if you stir it a little bit. No, you don't got to stir it. You don't got to stir it. That's fine. Jack J says, so what we I can have do honestly learned a lot watching this channel. Oh, nice. Uh, that's good to So hear. we can put in smaller cubes. We're here to educate you. Thank you, ma'am. We put in small ice cubes and the, le the level will rise and that's good, okay? Dude, this, this, you could smell the, you could smell the liquor though. I mean, like. <laughs> you could smell that dark rum. Yeah, you could smell the rum, dude. That rum is, that rum, that dark rum is no joke. <laughs> Sheila, put that, put that, put it in the freezer, please, so we can serve that from, from running. Dark yeah, rum is. all the new ice we just made. Dark rum is, already used, already used the majority of Okay, Sheila, grab me another orange, please, when you're coming around. And give me, give me, um, give me uh, cherries with, with, with stems. Cherries with a stem, por favor. <laughs> cherries with a stem. Hello, Viertel <laughs> Alles klar. Yeah, that is German, okay? He's speaking some German. Yeah, I'm sorry if I scared you guys. <laughs> okay, so we come in here. Okay. So that's another thing you could do. You could put that in there like that. Cute. Get a nice little box. Shelly, get a, a thing of them. They are. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a bigger piece. Get a tropical glass, like one that, one that has, one like bamboo or something like that. And get a, get a thing of them too. Get a, uh, get, a, get an umbrella. A lot of people are saying no lime, question mark. I'm, oh my god, this is supposed to have lime juice in it. Guys, we messed up. Fucking up. We messed up. This is supposed Thanks to have attention, Kathy. This is supposed it. to have lime juice in it. Yes, yes it is. Thank you. Thank you. Sheila, we left Thank up the lime juice. Thank you guys for reminding us. It would have tasted off, and I would have had to say something. What do you mean it would have tasted off? Thank you, Kelsey. I saw is your message pink too. One? This is might pink? That's fine. This might have tasted off anyway, okay? <laughs> guys, I poured everything back in. Come in with that squeeze of lime juice. Okay, that's... A lime is usually like an ounce as a whole. So I'm going to assume that this is an ounce of lime juice. Maybe that's too much. Who knows? I need to fish. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. <laughs> um, and we got another super jet from the Lone Wolf. Thank you so much, man. Not a real drinker here. except for wine and beer. My favorite drink is an Amaretto Stone Sour. I might try... A newish thanks to you. What is the armor? What How is old are you? Are you two years old? Are you 15 years old? Why are you, why are you hating on my boy? I'm sorry. What is an amaretto stone sour though? Well, you don't know what an amaretto stone sour is? How long have you been bartending, Sky? Guess who knows what an amaretto stone sour is? Please tell me. I do. What? I know what an amaretto stone sour is. What is it? It's an amaretto sour with orange juice. The stone is the orange juice bar? Yeah. Mm. I'm pretty sure. I actually kind of have to Google it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've made one. All that little sassiness. People used to order them all the time in Wisconsin. Okay, okay. But notice, notice you, you're just talking about a regional thing now. Whatever. He no, because it does matter. We have different drinks in different guys. places. Guys, we're coming in with our tropical straw right here. Now we're coming in with our umbrella. Okay. Yay! Yeah, it's, I was right. It's an amaretto sour with orange juice. Okay, sweet. Amaretto, sweet and sour. I know what it is now. <laughs> Joshua, I know. I, I think that all the time when I come here. <laughs> what? What, that's no, he says a German, a Bahamian, and a Wisconsin man walk into a bar. <laughs> 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 I always think about that. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 Tipsy Bartender have been pretty, pretty international though, because we, we have, we've had a Russian, we've had a German, a Russian girl, German girl. Asian yeah. guy, Bao, where you oh, at? Oh yeah, Bao. Yeah, no, but I mean Bao was American, so I don't necessarily call him American. Oh, yeah, but he, he was, was he? No, we, no, Bao wasn't born in Vietnam. Asian American. I remember when I was trying to get a girl from Africa, but you it know, didn't work out. Danke Pascal. 
Why did I have an African girl? You remember towards, towards the end when I kind of stopped using girls? I mean, I used girls for a little bit. I had a girl from Ethiopia. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she was what really was pretty. Her name? name was a long ass yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With M. She, yeah. yeah, she was really pretty though. Yeah. But we didn't, wow. we didn't work together that long, so I didn't get to know her that well. So I said, Wisconsin sounds like an alternate dimension. It honestly is over there. <laughs> that's why, she, their that's why she had to get out, homeboy. That's why she had to get out. And there you have it, our crazy ass rum punch. Notice, one ounce of white rum, one ounce of, okay, one ounce of white rum, one ounce of coconut rum, one ounce of dark rum, and then we use uh, one ounce of pineapple juice, two ounces, ounces of, of orange, orange juice, juice. an ounce of lime juice, Anything else? And I think that's it. Okay, a bunch of shit in there, okay? If this tastes bad, homeboy, just roll with it, okay? okay. I mean, no, you can say it tastes bad. I ain't trying to, don't lie. I'm just saying, like, okay, it'll still get the job done, okay? So just hold your nose and drink. Is that strong as hell? It doesn't taste bad, but Myers has such a distinct taste. flavor. taste, yeah. That I can taste the dark rum, but it doesn't taste bad. It's actually, actually, it's actually... Pretty tasty. I don't usually like t tropical drinks like this with like coconut and pineapple and da da da. But this is very well balanced. Don't I think ever the take, lime juice did it. Don't ever take your ass to the islands, old boy. We don't the want lime you there. juice okay? did it. The minute you start did talking it, about, did it, did it. Take I'm no just gonna Myers. order mojitos the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. You want a new straw? You trust her? I wouldn't trust Shayla's straw. You don't know where she was last night. I was with that's Janessa. why she. That's why you're dancing me this morning. I was with Janessa. What time, what time did you, what time did you, uh, go I to was bed? asleep by like 10 o'clock last night. Okay. He sent me a voicemail, like, he sent me an angry voice message at like 1 a.m. <laughs> no, it was like 12, something. Yeah. It was sent with love, though. <laughs> Hold on, I started off very positive. Yeah, he was like, hey, Shayla, I'm getting ready for tomorrow's show, and I just want to let you know that you're doing a good job, you're doing a really good job, but let's talk about where you lack. Don't be walking in my house asking for food. F-bomb this, F-bomb there. <laughs> don't be talking shit about my recipes. <laughs> no, hold on, I ain't telling don't be talking shit about the recipes, because that means that you can't, that would mean that you can't say a drink tastes shitty. I'm not talking about that, okay? <laughs> We're talking... <laughs> We're talking about her dislike of cheese, <laughs> okay? <laughs> she hates fucking cheese. So if you watch yesterday's episode, the minute I started, especially blue cheese, okay? The minute I started using blue cheese, she was like, hmm. And I'm like, dude, these are viral recipes, most of them from like TikTok. If you hate cheese, that's fine, okay? Let me eat the fucking thing, <laughs> all right? <laughs> but you can't expect me to change the recipe because these yeah. viral recipes, I, you know? I use Captain, but it's good. This one, this one is a fun one. This one's a fun one. Thank you, Stephanie R. Yeah, it's really good, actually. It's like a tea, it, it's super good. nice tiki drink. Yeah. yeah but that will good. get you toasted super quick. Yeah, a lot of alcohol careful. in there. There's three yeah. ounces three of... Three different of rum. There's three ounces of rum in here, so be, be aware that this could put you it's on your It's good, though, y'all. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this, one, this one's a fun good. one. Um, this is one of the, my favorite tiki drinks that I've... It's good. This one's growing on me. Really? It's the lime juice that you added, I'm sure. Oh, boy. Yeah. Whatever you want, I got Good. it. Except food when you walk in. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but the noodles, man. The noodles, I'm still like looking at that going, you know? Because I already know some days I'm not going to be able to No, eat but 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to open that cupboard and just look in there and I'm going to be shivering thinking of Shayla. She just brought her own noodles. <laughs> I sure did. And then we're going to be like, Sky, why are you crying? And you'll be like, Shayla, pork noodles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you got you to gotta understand. I'm very sensitive, okay? Scroll down for me, Stefan. Scroll down for me. G-Money said, tell her no more temper tantrums. <laughs> yes, G-Money, I will work, I will try my Oh, you saw that yesterday. Did you all see that little temper tantrum yesterday? I will never do another temper tantrum. The minute I, the minute I put in the blue cheese crumbles, go back to yesterday's episode on YouTube. Just watch, okay? See you. If you watch the show, you can see the different vibes. The minute I start with the blue cheese, she start going, mm, mm, mm. and I'm sitting there going, dude, let's go. It's okay, Shayla. And, that's, that's, and then you'll hear me saying yesterday, well, Shayla, I don't make recipes for you or Janessa or even me. I make recipes for the people who are watching. Okay? And I'm trying to say this in a calm voice, right? Because what I really want to say is, look, motherfucker. Which he did say later in his We message. cooking for the people, okay? <laughs> Who gives a fuck what you like or what I like? It's what they like. You're right. You're and right, so if the right. recipe is viral, that means most people like it, so we roll with it. And it's fucking hot wings. Okay, like a hot wing sauce. They go with blue cheese. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stefan, there, there was a video here titled Vegas. You see it? 
Uh, no, it's um, it's up up somewhere. Like yeah. up there. Okay, watch this, guys. Okay, watch this. Just in time for the Las Vegas summer, if you can drink this four foot tall, one hundred dollar boozy milkshake in under twenty minutes, you can get it for free. Under twenty you minutes. How. Starts with seventy two ounces of thrifty ice cream, 72. up to twelve ounces of the alcohol that you choose, and depending on the flavor you pick, loads of fresh toppings. We went with strawberry shortcake. This is at Duck Donuts. It's in front of Horseshoe on the Strip in the Grand Bazaar shops. And before anyone says this is an impossible food challenge, several people successfully completed it in 2023. A massively tall souvenir cup is filled with the shake and then topped off with loads of whipped cream. As if this wasn't enough, it is then topped with four custom donuts. You can pick the toppings and the flavors. This is a whole lot of dairy and alcohol for the summer heat, but you come to Vegas to do things you can't or wouldn't do back home. If you are unsuccessful, you get to keep the cup, but you do pay the $100. Tag someone that could do this. Details in the comments. Would you go? Let me know and follow me for all the Vegas. Zach Dude, that's a $100 drink. Zach though. says he can do it. Okay, firstly, Dude, to, to do that, you need to be about a good four or 500 pounds, you know? Somebody said brain flat. freeze, hangover, and diabetes in one drink. You know what she said? She said 72 ounces of ice cream. Sheila, grab, grab. You have to be like. Grab one of those things of ice cream out of, out of the fridge for me, please. You have I, to have like not eaten for days. I'm, I'm curious to know how many ounces that is. That's why I want to see like how many tubs That's of ice cream insane, that is. Man. I don't believe her when she said 72. Look, look how tall. Just grab anyone. Grab, grab, grab the chocolate one. That's fine. How many ounces on that? I don't know. Okay. They have this in... 15? That's 15... Oh, no. That's a liter. What does that say? That's quarts? 1.5 quarts. Well, okay. How many ounces in, is in one and a half quarts? A quart is four cups, right? Hold on. Okay. Probably not lot of chunk. <laughs> okay. How many ounces in one and a half quarts? Okay, 48 ounces. In one and a half quarts? Yeah. So it's like two of these. Almost two, because this would be that would be 96, and there's a 72. So it's like one and a half. Yeah, like one and a half. That's still a lot. That's of, a lot of ice, ice cream. cream though. I can't even eat two scoops whenever a, I go to the place. That's a lot, that's a lot of ice cream, dude. So that's one and a half of these. Plus And then on. 12 ounces of booze. Which is say up to 12. So you could put in less booze okay. if you want. Plus the booze. What do you get? Plus the donuts and the toppings and stuff on top. What do you get if you drink it in 20 minutes? You get you get your hundred dollars back. So you Shit. get it for free. You gotta drink it by yourself? I don't probably. You can't have like six people drinking and that's cheating. No, could you could it could it be you and one other person? I don't know. I don't work there. I never been there. And I probably ain't never going either to eat that kind of shit. I already fought enough. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. Where's that New Orleans? No, that in Vegas. Oh. Yeah. It's in Vegas. Right, thanks to the heart attack restaurant. Yeah, yeah, you know the heart attack restaurant in Vegas. What did they say? If you over 350 pounds, you eat free? Yeah. Dude, oh my Why God. Why do they do that? I don't they know. They want people to be fat? I don't know, dude. So you got to get on a scale? Yeah, you get on a scale, and if you over a certain weight, they give it. They probably, for America, they probably have to raise that to about 400, because we heavy, dude. This is a fat, <laughs> this is a fat country. No, no, no disrespect to anyone out there who big, okay? This is, this is a big ass country, okay? <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, Stephen, scroll down for me. Let me, let me, let me tell you what, what else is going on. Okay, okay, JoJo Siwa. You know who she is? Mm-hmm. I met her one time. Really? Where'd you meet her? I met her at my old job, and she told me that I look like somebody that I don't look anything like. So. Was she, was she trying to pick, was she trying to pick know, you up? No, she was just like, you look like this one girl. And I looked her up, and I said, I don't look nothing like this girl. Okay, that's the JoJo. But I look like everybody. Apparently, Candace Owens. That's the JoJo, no, you do look like Candace Owens. That's the JoJo mm -hmm. Siwa everyone grew up with, right? Like her nice, innocent, with the big... With the ponytail. With the big, with the big... Was it, was it like a hair, hair band or whatever? Because mm -hmm. she, she made millions selling that fucking thing, right? Yeah. But now she's 20 years old, right? She's 20, right? You yeah. know who she was hanging out with when I saw her? Who? Raven, Simone, and her wife. Yeah, well, she's a lesbian. The three of them. But JoJo was like half Raven's age. Yeah, but I mean... I don't know. They were just all hanging out, and I thought it was interesting. They could relate. They could relate. They could relate. Okay. They could relate. Matter of fact, I shouldn't point out that they're both lesbians, because who knows? You know what I mean? We could have the business meeting. Their sex might not come up, but who knows? They could have been smashing. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So, she 20, right? So, she obviously can't keep up this colorful, freaking hair braided shit, okay? And so... She grown now. So, she's changing the image. Okay, okay? good for her. So, click out. 
Okay, so this is the first one you oh. know, on Instagram. That's a picture on Instagram. She posted that on her Instagram? Yeah, she, this, she posted this on Instagram a while ago. Okay. Okay. So that's a big deal right out the gate because all kinds of parents are going, oh my God, yeah, my parents, little. Parents are paying thousands and thousands of dollars to book her for their kids' birthday parties. And but stuff, here's right? the problem. Here's the problem with this shit. That shit's not gonna last. She can't keep fucking doing that. Because if you start doing that, next thing you know, you're 35 doing this shit, right? <laughs> and you're done. So she's making the switch where she's going like, okay, I'm a bad girl. And you I'm think she's like girl. going extreme? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. She's, so she's, people get it? She's, Steph, no, I only give you those two pictures. I give you a third one of her. No, I think that's what it is. Okay, so she's she's dropping this track called I Was a Bad Girl or something like that, right? That's a it. song? Some, yeah, some song. And she's changing she her Instagram. Sings? I do this this YouTube. Who the fuck? You don't okay. need to be able to sing to sing. You just sing. You know what I mean? Okay. And hope for the best. Look, look at me. I got a last call for alcohol. That's a bona fide hit. Can I sing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. So now her fans are upset. They're claiming that she's going the Molly Cyrus route, like going this bad girl route, right? But dude, you gotta Everybody do that. Up, we all grow up. And Molly Cyrus ain't the first to do that. Yeah. You remember Christi Christina Aguilera? You remember Christina Aguilera? Yeah. She was from Mickey Mouse Club. So then she come out. You remember the song she was singing Dirty when she was in the ring, like boxing, sweating? It's an old school song. All of Britney Spears, and you got to change in order to survive. You can't freaking stay young and with your little, yeah. with your Disney and World I think, shit. I think what's annoying about this is that like people have these child stars and they expect them to be role models and stuff, but they don't realize that these, they're kids. They're growing up just like your kids are growing up. They're going through phases just yeah. like your kids do. You know, it's just all in the the limelight. Some yeah. people are judging and stuff. But she's being a she's growing up. She's like, saying she's in a Molly Cyrus wrecking ball. In her Definitely. What? In her what? Wrecking ball. You remember that song? I came in like a wrecking ball. By who? By Molly Cyrus. Okay. Why? You kept saying Molly, Molly, Molly Cyrus, Molly Cyrus. You said it like four times. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean though. It's Miley. Okay, Miley well, Cyrus. I'm sorry, Miley. Whatever the fuck your name is. Okay. <laughs> By the way, don't think I don't remember the YouTube days when that dude mocked your song on Wrecking Ball. What's his name? Steve Cardell. That shit went back to number one. You know, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Your YouTube took a song back to That song one. made me emotional when it first came out. I felt the emotion that she was feeling. He's going through a lot, eh? I wasn't even going through a lot, but she was, and I could feel her energy through True. the song. Hit that rump punch, and you'll forget all about that through shit. Through the record. Okay? Yeah, but I'm just saying, y y y listen, these child stars, they can't stay kids, or your career's over. You yeah. gotta switch, you know what I mean? So you, you remember me back in the day doing my Sarah little Lynn Disney World shit? And then one day I grew up, you know what I mean? I and I whipped it out. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you guys watch uh, Bojack Horseman, I agree. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said Shayla's right. Sky kept saying mom. <laughs> 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 Die of silence, die of silence. Somebody said Miley is cute for her boy. <laughs> wow. Look, y'all know who I mean. Could be, could be Molly. Yeah, y'all know who I mean. But by the way, that's, that family wild as shit, okay? Because remember now, oh, Miley... Oh, yeah, her mom stole her sister's boyfriend and married her, right? Right, right. Or her mom stole her daughter's boyfriend right. and married her daughter's boyfriend. So now the daughter's boyfriend is the stepdad. Yeah, that means he's to bind both of them. That's what the way I look at it. Because when I walk in the house and I see him... And then I see this, the daughter sitting there, and I see the mom over there, and I'm going, this Do you think dude. whenever him and the wife gets, gets angry at each other, he's going to go in the daughter's bedroom and be like, dang, No, mom. because I think, I think that's a strained relationship now. I don't think they talk. Who knows? You know what I mean? Uh, you, think, you think they don't talk? What, okay. if they, what if the relationship wasn't a real one? Like, what if she just dated this older dude and was like, eh, I don't Nah, care. dude, he was hitting that. He was hitting that. Ain't nobody following <laughs> her like that. She's, she's not like Miley, okay? She, she isn't that famous. My point is this, Shayla. So, if I was dating you, mm -hmm. and then later on I was smashing them all, how would you feel? If I'm if I mom? didn't like you like that, I would still think it's weird, but I wouldn't be upset. Cool. I, I mean, like, so you would I would, it'd be a little upsetting, but like, if I didn't care about you like that, I'd be like, ew, like, really, mom? Okay, whatever. And then I go about my life. Cool. So would you hang but out with us? I'm not gonna like would you hang out with my us? mom. Would like, you hang out with us? Mother. Would you go to lunch with us and stuff like that? Hell <laughs> to the absolute fuck no. Really? Absolutely not. That's so weird. Okay, what happens when I walk out of my drawer at two o'clock in the morning and be like, Shayla, we have to talk, okay? Listen to me. <laughs> I don't all, appreciate you. I'm not gonna you. be a grown woman living in my mom's house. But you staying over because you're visiting. Look here, Shayla. I don't appreciate you walking in this home all noisy at two o'clock in the morning, okay? I'd be like, if you don't, I don't get like the that. fuck out of my face. Now you need to respect your mom and I's space, okay? And get the fuck out of this house. That would be wild. Huh? 
That would be actually wild. I couldn't imagine that. Really? Uh, yeah, oh boy. I could not imagine. Oh boy, I can't wait. Could not imagine. I can't wait to do something like that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Diddy dated his son's ex-girlfriend. Did he really? Who, Who? knows? Dude, that's Diddy. Who, only God knows what he was doing. What wasn't he doing, okay? Who? That's probably a safe story for Diddy. Yeah. Okay, guys. I got some food for y'all, okay? This shit's gonna be wild. Shayla, you hear me? Yeah, what I say? still alive, Yana, Jayla. I forgot what he said just now. Okay. But we still here. Okay. So, guys, I got my little plate. We about right to now. make something with cheese today. Okay. So, Shayla, okay, I need you to grab those burritos for me. Okay. <laughs> Shayla's gonna grab the burritos, home Why boy. are there so many burritos? There's like 10 burritos. I know, I know. I really actually love bur these burritos. These little burritos? Yeah. You, you like them? I okay. used to get them all the time. Can you hold one to camera? Okay, guys. So these, these, are, these are burritos. These are like 69 cents each. Okay. You can find them at the gas station usually sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. And in a crisis, homeboy, these come in real good and, and handy. Okay. I feel like the beef and bean with green chili is probably really good. Okay. All right. Ooh, the red hot beef is probably really good too. Okay. Okay. Okay, homeboy. What are we doing with these burritos? Let me get, let me get. Okay. So I want you to peel them in no particular order. Okay. Peel them up in no particular order, guys. So this is, this is a, uh, this is a burrito hack. <laughs> That's what it's called. This was super viral. Yeah, Thank you for becoming a member. You don't have some notebook. I don't want to butcher your name. This was super viral back in the day. Okay, yes, you can just rest them in there like that. I want them double stacked. Okay. Really? You can do it like this too. Okay. Oh my God! Why is it so hard to open? That's what I said. Why did y'all make this thing? <laughs> they said they're not gonna. Yeah, be able why don't we ever say Tina's burritos? <laughs> Tina's burritos got me for some. I'm telling y'all, don't they? <laughs> Tina's burritos and ramen noodles. Okay, now hold tight, now hold tight, hold tight. We can put this in here like this. Hey, Roberto, thanks for you coming You squeeze in. this one in like that, okay? Let's put the, push the camera a little bit closer. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Roberto, where you been at? All right, we're holding now, hold tight now. We can double it up. Okay, we can do it like this. Go ahead. 6.30 set. Stomach's a little flatter lately, Shay Shay. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Well, really? I've been intermittent fasting, but apparently it's going to give me freaking heart attack. <laughs> or heart failure. Yeah, why I usually wait to eat till I get here, but that's going to be a no-go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but another person said this earlier, actually. What? I saw. About my stomach? Yeah. That, Thank you all. That's really... They were complimenting your abs. Hold on. Don't, 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 go, don't go that yet. Be stuffing that in. Now keep cutting, keep cut, no, boy. Are these already cooked? Could you stop smelling? Yeah, they, they are already cooked. You didn't know that? <laughs> So when you just, relax, when you microwave relax. them? Yeah. You see how they look? You see how it looks, y'all? So I could just eat this like this. Yeah. Not yet! <laughs> I kind of want to try it, though. I know! <laughs> hey, Bambi. Thank you for tuning in okay, again. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, we got a super chat from Zach. Thank you, Zach. Hi, Zach. It's about time I showed a little love to you guys. Thanks for being a consistent source of entertainment. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for tuning in all the time. Love you, Thank Zach. You so Okay, hold on. Let's let's ju let's just keep these in order the way we did it the first the first layer. So we're Are good. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, where's that half that we get? Okay, guys. So you saw what we did there, right? Okay. So that's two stacks of burritos. Okay. Double stack. Double stack. Chef, do me a favor. Turn the oven on. We could dump those to the side. Turn well, it on to what? Put it on like three fifty. Turn it on to like 350. <laughs> Looks like liver pate in there. I yeah. mean, could be, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is an enchilada sauce. Y'all see that? Okay. Red chili sauce, okay? <laughs> Somebody says, Chayla went to Sky Surgeon. Damn. <laughs> I got the best surgeon. <laughs> <dish. laughs> Yo, if I went to Sky Surgeon, my abs would be popping out like this. <laughs> <laughs> I strained my abs the other day, dude. I had my legs wrapped around. So, uh, damn right. What'd you, you do? It's a long story. What were your legs wrapped around? A dude. Okay, then. Well, then. I was playing around and I nearly killed myself. I think I tore one of my abs. Thank you, Pascal. 
TVP? What is TVP? I don't know. What is TVP? He said it's probably TVP in the, um... Can I taste this? Sure, you can taste it. <laughs> Sheila's our official taster, guys. The official taste of the Olympic Games. I thought she, she, you would just drink out of the can. Oh. Oh! <laughs> like, hmm. you, like, like you know what the hell you taste it. You're so full of shit. That's really interesting. Really? What it tastes I like? I like it. What it tastes like? Ass? It tastes like, um, it's, like, it's, it's, it's very spicy and herbal. It's very spicy and herbal, It can use a little of salt, though, in my opinion. It can use a little, a little salt, Sky. Okay, stop spilling it on the floor. Okay, the I'm carpet. so sorry. Punk? Um, okay. So guys, we coming in here, or we just spreading this over? That's fine, that's fine, Cheryl. Ooh, it can smell over here. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's very good. Yeah, it it's very, very good. herbal. Mm. Herby. Now guys, in all the videos that you see of this, they just pour it on, right? But I don't want to put in as much as they did. I mean, that's probably as much as they did already, but whatever. I mean, yeah, do as much Yo, as they did. Yo, money man's in the house. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hey, man. money What, what up, what up, homeboy? Okay. Make sure I get that all around. Yeah, it looks delicious. Get this nice and soaked in. Beautiful, okay? <laughs> What's that, what are you saying? Shayla's abs looking like Janet Jackson in the 90s. That is a stretch. But thank you, that is the most flattering thing I've ever heard in my entire life. No. I love Janet Jackson. Y'all, I just started listening to her music like yesterday. Would you didn't? You didn't listen to her music before? I really never heard none of her music before. But she's been popping up a lot lately on my social media and stuff. So I was like, let me check her out. Yo, her music is so good. Really? But also kind of timeless. Like, a lot of the songs that she has on her album, her album from way back when, would probably still go, like, to the billboards today. She married to some billionaire now, right? I thought she was married to some dude, but didn't they get divorced? I don't know. I mean, I know she was with Jermaine Dupri for a while. Was she with Jermaine Dupri? Yeah, dude, wow. that was the thing. They were, that, that was his like, that was his true love. Really? He was a huge fan of Janet. You know? I didn't know that. I don't know if, I don't know how that works out though. Like Remember when everybody was coming for his outfit? Like what? Like is after it, the Super Bowl? Yeah, I mean like he always wears <laughs> weird shit. Okay guys, this Pico de Gallo that I'm spreading over the top of this. This okay? looks good. Are we gonna add some salt and pepper to it or no? I mean, you want salt and pepper? Sure. Just a little bit. Sure, sure. Thank you. You sure this ain't salty enough? I'm almost positive. She's almost positive. I'm not gonna add too much salt. Okay. Oh yeah. It's all for you. You don't really want it. Go ahead. You can handle that. It's all for you. Oh yeah. This has jalapeno in it too, right? Mm. The pico de gallo smells really good. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Do they say pico de gallo in Spanish speaking countries or they call it salsa? Oh yeah, that's a good question. I think salsa is different than pico though. I feel like pico is more chunky and salsa is more like... Okay guys, so notice you're putting a layer of cheese on this. Somebody in the comments can help out with that. My first love is interesting. What? I'm gonna make garlic butter shrimp. That sounds really, really good. Okay, guys, so if you don't like cheese, you could just peel the cheese off before you eat the bottom. Hmm? I'm just saying, if you don't like cheese, you could just peel the cheese off okay. and eat the bottom. So what are these, like, glorified enchiladas? Um, this is burrito the, This is the burrito enchilada hack. Burrito enchilada hack. Yeah. Hack. 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 Hack, yeah. All right, guys. Oh my God, look at the party, look at that body, shaking that thing, looking up at the sea. My spec jar, right? Okay. Tonight. Bum, bum, bum. You know that song is stuck in my head. Why you eat cheese so much? What happened to you? There's a lot of cheese. I know, that's the whole point. Okay. It's supposed to be freaking cheesy. Why do I hate it? Uh -huh. I don't hate it. I just don't think it's necessary for any recipe. Okay. But like the recipes still do just fine without it. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hawk. Excuse me. Okay. Damn hawks. Oven, okay. oven time. You can turn it. I'll put this back in the fridge. Unless you want some chocolate ice cream. You want chocolate ice cream? I don't cream, want sure? a, you know, chocolate ice cream. Good, thank you. What are you doing, a diet? A diet? <clears throat> no. 
Oh goodness. Uh, that, the, the oven's all smoky because something's spilling now. Uh oh. All right. Now there's, a, there's another twist to that, guys. You could have topped that with crushed crush Doritos. That's oh, what happened to the crushed Doritos? And what's with the avocado and stuff? Is that well, I mean, I can put avocado and stuff on that afterwards. But I mean, like, you don't, you don't, you don't can bake the avocado. Okay, you got it? You sure? You sure? Yeah. So we got towels for it, but okay. You yeah, can do it your way. My hands are more efficient. My hands are more efficient. Okay, guys, so we can just let that melt down. What, what time I should put on this? Like 10 minutes? So we made a roller derby, right? A brown derby. A brown derby, a Paloma, mm -hmm. a rum punch, and a salty dog. The salty dog is actually really, really good. Shelly, you want a shot? You want something me. crazy? Can we do something fun? Like what's fun? Can you give me the whiskey one again? Yeah, you guys, what's a fun, uh, what is a fun shot? Thank you. What's a fun shot, y'all? We're taking it's suggestions, home boy. We've opened up the floor to you. What shot would you like to try? Just you can finish, finish that. You can finish it, Stefan. Just finish it. Thank you. This is really good. Oh, we got another super chat from Money Matt. Thank you. When I think of you, I don't know it yet, but I'm going to listen to it on my way home today. Guys, y shots, 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 shots. <laughs> what, what shot do you all want to see? What shots do you want? Smooth Tell transition. me what to drink, yeah. Straight whiskey. Straight whiskey. <laughs> I like whiskey. I'll be taking castle. whiskey shots. Don't tempt me with a good time. Raw dog. Oh, what's, what's a raw, raw dog? dog? What's a raw dog? A raw dog? dog. He, said, he, said it's a sh he said fun shot is raw dog. Yeah, yeah. Raw dog it is fun. Okay. Just the chlamydia afterwards. Raw that's dog the is like a very fun name. Yeah. Plantain chips are better than Cheetos. They are better okay. than Cheetos. That was very random. S somebody from, Am uh, from the Netherlands is saying do the... Cop stoot. Cop stew shot? What is that? The cop, cop stew. Stew. What is that, Pascal? Can you tell us? Okay, so I'm just looking at some shots here. Most popular shots they have. Okay, these shots were ordered most in 2022, according can to Vanity make, Fair. Can we make a shot? Can I make one up? Sure. <laughs> what would you like to make up? I don't know. A like boiler maker. <laughs> It's a boiler maker. Bear and bear, bear a shot of whiskey or something like, like that. I okay. want to make like a green tea shot, but my own version of that. Gummy bear. A gummy bear shot? A white Dr. gummy Pepper bear? Shot. Dr. Dr. Pepper shot. Dr. Pepper shot. A flaming Dr. Pepper. What's a flaming Dr. Pepper? That's when you drop, what is it? Amaretto 151 on fire, drop that into. Um, Ooh, what is a chocolate cake shot? Oh, we can do a chocolate cake. What's, a, what's that one? Which one? Bernard Ties. What is that? Is that a real thing? Uh, it probably, it probably is a name out there, but that's not a popular one. But the chocolate cake one is real. Okay. Let's do chocolate cake. Okay, hold on, let me see. Chocolate shot, cake shot, shot tipsy shot, bartender. Shot, 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 everybody. Shot, 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 shot. Okay, hold on. Chocolate cake shot. Everybody. Shot, 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 shot. Remember when fist pumping was a thing, right? Wasn't mm -hmm. that um, Jersey Shore? Okay. <laughs> So this chocolate cake number one. When okay. was the last time your office pumped? <laughs> Yesterday. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this the first one is hazelnut liqueur vodka. Ooh. And then a lemon with sugar on it. I remember that. I remember selling those back in the that day. That sounds. Okay. Oh, I think I've done a, a, a sugar cookie, which is frangelico and. And then, um, the other one is hazelnut vanilla vodka sugar lemon. Okay. Um, that's because it's supposed to taste like a chocolate cake. You see. Okay, how about a German chocolate cake? One light scent that lasts. Try Downy Light. Everybody. German chocolate cake. Hold on, hurry put, hurry put this commercial YouTube. Why don't you have a YouTube? Ooh, Stephanie, that sounds pretty Chocolate good. covered pretzel shot. That sounds like salty and, and, mm. and, sweet. and sweet. Oh shit, and this, one, this one's interesting. Can we do something like that too? Can we make something up? Chocolate covered pretzel with soft, it's like salty and sweet. Mm -hmm. You could rim with crust or pretzel or something. Like yeah, that. right? Okay, hold on. Do you want to try a German chocolate cake shot? Sure. Okay, do you know what that is, Stefan? Mm -hmm. German chocolate cake? I haven't heard that. Okay, hold on. Red velvet, my boy. Okay, hold on. This is German chocolate cake. 
Shot. <laughs> you ain't gotta ask me twice. Tipsy bartender. Thanks for reminding okay. us, Big Mix. Appreciate it. Boys, don't lie. Stop okay. bringing a vibe. <laughs> okay. Boys, don't lie. So, any butterscotch snaps? <laughs> okay. Chocolate liqueur. Coconut rum. Okay. Chocolate liqueur. Butterscotch snaps. Hold on. Let me let me let me let me um let me make sure that this is this is. Correct. Don't lie, I'm starting to feel a vibe. Yo, Stephanie, do you do you rim the glass then with like crushed up pretzels or something? Yeah, it's very good. Frangelico, I was getting that vibe. Okay, so Sheila, listen to this. Mm -hmm. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a German chocolate cake shot. Look at that bad boy. Come. Okay, ice in our glass. Chocolate liqueur. Come behind that with Jägermeister. Ew. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, and delicious. <laughs> Bunch of scotch snaps. By the way, you're not a German chocolate cake. I don't think that was really German, you know, it's American. Is the Jaeger uh, for the color? This is what it tastes. But, 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 but hold on. The, I'm down to try it. No, I know, because if it tastes like shit, you can let us know. Okay? As there you have it. Stay Okay, so we got the coconut vodka. I mean, coconut rum. Listen, listen, listen to the ingredients again. We need, we need chocolate liqueur, okay? So that's gonna be Godiva chocolate. Okay. That's what I have downstairs. Godiva? Yeah, Godiva chocolate. Yes. I got my coconut rum. Okay. Jägermeister. Butterscotch snaps. Okay. Godiva, Jaeger, butterscotch. Godiva chocolate though, not a white chocolate. Okay. All right. Godiva, Jaeger. Butterscotch snaps. Butterscotch. Okay. Okay. Oh, my hips don't lie. Okay, guys. Yeah. Oh, shit. Where am I going? The, Hit lots me with... Of, lots of chunk. <laughs> is there a way I can get a job at the Naughty Pig just preparing the rims? In other words, I want a rim job. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but, yeah, but hit, me, hit, me, hit me with another one. Where were we on this list? Uh, classy, I think. Yeah, yeah right? let's see. Okay, this is cool. Show me that feeling. <laughs> me after I lock a new level of being completely unbothered by anyone trying to violate my peace. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Check out. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like she broke the glass. She broke the glass. <laughs> Look at that. She slammed the dance and she broke the glass. When you slide back a little bit, she wow. broke it. Yeah. Yeah, she broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, she's like 10. Holy crap. Okay, hit me one more. Hit me one more. Hit me one more. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Hold on. This, this is second. interesting. These dudes went around to all the Disney World seeing how much money. Today we find out how much it costs to drink around the world at Epcot. Line set at 6 or 1.5. What are we on? Over. Over. I'll take the under. 3.25. Nice. Okay, is it Mexico? Who's in it? 91.50. Nice. Thank you, guys. Country power rankings. Norway's going above Mexico for 100%. 100%. Agreed? Agreed? Norway, they're hot. Bonk. <laughs> yeah. Is, is Epcot set in Disney and in, in China? Number 135.44. We can talk a nice Estraza. Takes us up to one nine. You all have a Disney, you have an Epcot Center too? Stafford? In Germany? What do you think of the beer, James? No, it's not German beer. Disney. We've called in the backups. No. Bargain, Tycho. 33 33? Oh, they went around the world. Yeah, oh, Disneyland. Disneyland. Okay, okay. All one day. Yeah, all one day. Are they visiting all the different countries and drinking at the countries? countries? Yeah. Okay. It's looking good. How are you doing? Oh, gotcha. Bargain. Under's looking good. Under's looking so good. Zaggy, zaggy, zaggy. Bum, bum, bum. Dude, this is a fun little challenge, you know. I need them to do that. Where's the set? 51 and a half. F-Quad Is that you? In Florida, Florida so somewhere. Free. Yeah, Florida. It's a bit off. They're spinning off. See who's funnier. James, go. <laughs> we might get there. Bonjour. Bonjour. 36. Dude, under was free. I'm going to give her a $7 tip because I'm that cocky about the under. You two are a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Damn. I want to do this. Why? Why? Just for sake. I just got cut off. Yes. <laughs> Here's a Powerade for you. Oh yeah, here's a water for you, dude. <laughs> I want to do this with my friends. <laughs> Wait, do they have that at this Disney World in Los Angeles? I don't know, do they? Wait, who's paying? 
<laughs> that's still like four hundred dollars. <laughs> like much? if I go with a group of four girls, that's hundred dollars. And how much to get in Disney World? That's still like a couple. That's still like a hundred dollars, yeah, right? Two hundred bucks to, to get in there. Or like it's hundred and eighty. So expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. Shit. And, and that's only the like chat. the small one here. Take me to Disney World. I'll be a Take fun time. Take me to Disney. We almost, we almost there. We almost there, Shayla. We almost there. Almost there. Okay. Hit me with another one, Stephanie. Hit me with another one. We're just waiting on that cheese to melt. It's coming. I will have an extra fog on my cocktail. Why, what the fuck? <laughs> that does absolutely nothing. What does it do? No, because it's a good, it's a good, it's a good Instagram. That's why they did it. You know, yeah, because it's a crazy. good Instagram. Yeah, that's what they did it. You should start doing. That's, that. Yeah, that's liquid <laughs> nitrogen. Okay, that's the nitrogen, homeboy. Canada cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. scroll, scroll on, scroll on. Let me, let me, let me hit one of these stories real quick. Okay, so. Oh yeah. Okay, my bo uh, James Bond. Okay, Aaron Taylor Johnson. So guys, this is going to be our new James Bond. Y'all know him from from. He was a Marvel, right? Was he? I think he. Well, he's kick. I know he from Kick Ass. Um, the movie Kick Ass and what girl? Something. Girl. Wait, this is official. Yeah. I love yeah. Kick Ass. By the what? way, it was so good. The, what? Well, the Roma is the Roma is he? They 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 gave it they gave it to him and he just has to sign. He's originally from England, so he is he is British. Yeah. You know? He's not the main guy in Kick Ass, is he? He was. It was Kick. What was it? Kick Ass and something girl. Ty, you know what it's called? Kick Ass that and girl? something. Kick girl. I don't know. Kick Ass and something. But he's from that. He's also from. He did some stuff in Marvel. He did Savages, I think that movie. I don't know. Oh wow! LOL. Is yeah. that the one with the? Oh no, I'm thinking of Spring Break. With Brink, with with Blake Lively, where she was in love with two <gasps> dudes or something. That like was that. so good. Did so you like this that is movie? him. This is him. So Who he's is he? going. He, his what name is boyfriend? Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, he's going to be the new James Bond. I'm going to go home and okay? watch Savages now. And the unique thing about him, okay, one, one, why he's usually in the news is because he's 33, right? But his wife mm -hmm. is 57. Show her seven, you know? So the, the woman he's dating is actually 57. His wife? Or yes, his, she's, or a, or she's, a, she's a director. So they started. You think that's how he made it in his his career? No, 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 no. He was already on the way. He was. So in, you think he loves her for real? Yeah, like this shit's for real. I don't think he's in doing that to get ahead. He was already ahead. She's know? not a. She's not a bad. No, it's just it's just fifty be, something. It's just that they always in the news because of the age difference. However, if this was Hollywood, it was the guy who was fifty seven. So maybe my soulmate just isn't born yet. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm alone. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Sorry. yeah, so, so that that is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, our new James Bond. You know what I mean? He's gonna he's gonna be doing it, and he yeah, he was in Bullet Train. That's right. He was, in Bullet he was just Train. a Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. Um, he's a he's a great actor. So the dude could definitely do it. You know what I mean? Like no one saw Daniel Craig being as good as he is. Yeah. Because because I remember when he's shooting James Bond, he couldn't drive a stick shift car. Daniel Craig. Okay. So they were already making fun of him. But he, but he came out. Um, I don't know how to drive stick shift. Yeah, we expect that. But I'm just saying, for like a British dude, he's supposed to be able to drive stick. Who? Huh? All British? Like Daniel Craig? Yeah, because they have a lot of stick shift cars yeah, over there. Yeah, I learned how to drive stick. Yeah. Right? Every, everybody everybody yeah. knows how to drive stick? In, yeah. In, in Europe, a lot of people do, yeah. The automatic cars is more of an American thing, you know? Lazy bastards. <laughs> So but but every, everything everything now is no, the stick shifts disappearing, you know. Hit girl. Yes, yes, kick hit ass. Girl. Uh, okay, kick but anyway. Ass and hit girl. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be he's gonna be the next he's gonna be the big thing. Eighty <laughs> said, Shayla, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to drive stick. I don't know how to drive stick. You need to learn though. Teach me. You'll teach me. I can teach you when I when I don't have one. Check out the French president and his wife. Yes, that's very true. Now that's a age difference too, because he's who is the French president? Emmanuel Macron. He's like forty something, and she's seventy something. She's late 60s, 70. Well then, you know, I mean, and they started dating when he was young. She was a teacher. I think she used to <laughs> teach him. I need to know what this age gap is. She used to teach him. That's the only one we got. Anyway. Put spots in them. Put spots in them. Put spots in them. I already opened it just now. Yeah, I know. So. Put spots in them. All right. Let's put these to the side. Let me get the thing, and then we we can make these shots. Because I think I think our thing's almost done. All right. Bernard, you got the jokes today. I ha I have to give you one too. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Shayla. Here goes. Now this is coming around. I can hit it. I can hit it. I can hit it with the with the Doritos right now, should I? Do, hit it with the Doritos. You think yeah. I should? 
Hit it with them Doritos. I'll go with green onions and avocado in a more traditional way. Do all of it. Do both. Guys, Doritos. Do it all. Dorito. No, I mean. Can I do my Doritos on the side? Why? Which, no, it's supposed to have it over it. What you mean? Okay, Doritos and then. Do you it. don't Why have to. Why can't you do all of it? You got to choose between the toppings? No, I mean. You want Doritos on it too? I mean, I already opened it now. Holy Man, shit. This is your recipe. Hmm. What you want me to do with this? You say you want Doritos on the side, right? Okay, let's keep it, let's keep it uh, just standard, okay? Let's push it back a little bit. The, the oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, sir. All right. So we had them with some green onions. Okay. And now let's come out with some avocado. You feel so what? The Lizzo song is stuck in my head. What's up with Lizzo after she got accused of being abusive to her staff? I haven't heard anything about that case at all. So I feel it's like done? everybody just forgot about it. No, but it's still going on. Like when people are suing you, they don't disappear. Ooh, you, like me you know? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. You sure? <laughs> Money Man has, has, has a good point. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Yeah, because I'm damn near 30, so that'd be, that would be crazy. <laughs> when they come up with some nice age reversal, Shayla will be back in power. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we could just spread these over the top. I mean, this is more of a... Tra I mean, I kind of turned this into more of a serious recipe going this route. Burrito lasagna. Yeah, you know? that's kind of... Yeah. Because it probably make more sense with, with the Doritos, but... Why not do the Doritos? No, because I mean, like, I need I need to get them on early to have them stick. You know, we here. Let's Look at this it. nice layer of avocado. That's what I'm saying. You know, let me just spread the avocado around. We're good. Okay. That's our little thingy thing thing. All right. You want any Doritos? You I'm good for now. Diet. Yeah, I shouldn't be eating Doritos. A lot of people are. Okay. Yeah, apparently in France, a lot of people say Macron's wife is a dude this, for real. This hmm? dude, just guy that we were just talking about? No, no, uh, like uh, the French president's wife. Uh oh. Donald Trump says she's hot. Can we add more? Donald Trump is like, wow, you're hot. Street is wondering, have you ever considered moving to Texas, Sheila? I've considered Houston, but there's a lot going on in Texas. Dude, I remember like during the pandemic, half of LA was like, dude, let's move to Austin. Yeah. Now all them dudes in Austin like, let's come back. Yeah. I, 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 like, I like southern states. I don't like their policies. So that, it'd, it'd be hard for me to live there, you know? I can't take the weather. I like the weather. I like the humidity. I like that it rains. I love the hospitality, the people out there. Okay. It's just the fucking government. So let's come in. Can't deal with. Let me get a knife. Turn up the music. Turn down the lights. Mm -mm, okay. Mm -mm. So I can cut. I cut and cross here like this, okay? Oh, it's juicy. It's juicy, y'all. All right. It's some juicy enchilada burritos. Mm. Somebody said it needs a gallon of sour cream. Is she okay? Yeah. Okay. So Sheila, here goes. That's a big ass slice. Yes. That is huge. Ooh, right. She's pulled. Oh yeah. Oh lord. Ooh. Burrito falling apart. Okay, that one fell apart. Every now and then I fall apart. <laughs> okay. So now this one we can get this. Oh lord, that one falling apart too. <laughs> Okay, there we go, there we go. Wow. There we go. Let me tuck this in here. Underneath the skin. Okay, beautiful. Hey, Twitch. Thank you. It looks delicious. What's up, right? Twitch? Twitches? Look hey, at, Twitch. Look at this piece here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got some hot sauce? Mouth demonstration. Mm -hmm. I want to add some more of this yummy looking enchilada sauce onto mine. Oh yeah, enchilada sauce. 
This isn't burning hot, but I should have left it in a little longer. You think so? We got yes. another super chat from Lone Wolf. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Lone Wolf. Thank you for the love, homeboy. And he cooks two ladies. Yeah. <laughs> How is it, Sky? Are you enjoying? Are the you burritos enjoying? could have been hotter. Let's see. How long are you supposed to cook it for? No, I mean, I didn't leave it in long enough. I just looked at the cheese and was yes, like, okay, Jack. okay. I tried to. <laughs> hmm. You know what? What are your thoughts? It's decent. Is your? It reminds me of an enchilada. But that's what it is. It's kind of like a burrito enchilada thingy. You know? I think so. It's legit. What about the, what was the Dorito supposed to do? Give you a crunchy top. Okay. And it doesn't matter what kind of burritos you use? I mean, use these cheap burritos. I mean, if you, if you can go to Chipotle and get fancy burritos, you could do that too, you know? Uh, super chat from there. Hey, thank you. Thank you. What's up, what's up, boy? I ain't seen you for a while. He like our first member, okay? Oh, wow, ever? Star Wars, yeah, like he's, he's probably the... F How old are you, a thousand years old? No, I'm just saying. We just started memberships the other day. Oh, my bad. So it'll be a couple months. What do you mean, how old he is? A I thousand thought he was months. like an original Tipsy Jack, fan. I, I think from you're yeah. a Rammstein fan or what? Do you know who your first fan is? Mm hmm Really? Mm hmm They still around? Obama. They, Obama they... used to watch me back in the day. Who? <laughs> <laughs> he said Obama. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. That tickled me. Yeah. So, Cheryl, would you recommend this? I mean, like I said, it could be hotter. I could let. Yeah, bake it for a little bit longer, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Had these been frozen burritos, it'd still be cold. Yeah, you gotta let the burritos thaw. Let the burritos thaw, cause otherwise the cheese is gonna burn. Hey, Darth, welcome back. Thanks for tuning back in. Mm -hmm. How was church? <laughs> Kimo, you'd be surprised by how many blonde moments I have. Considering that my hair is black, <laughs> it'll make no sense. Mm -hmm. All right, that was a hell of a meal, homeboy. That was a hell of a meal. <laughs> that was a hell of a meal. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Um, let me check this recipe one more time. Jada, can you sing Rumstein? How does that go? <laughs> German chocolate cake recipe. I don't even know. Yeah, just look it up later on. Okay. Mm. I feel like recipe. every single day, of every, every moment of every day, I have some song stuck in my head. Me too. I, I, I can never escape it. Yeah. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so this one is Jaeger chocolate liqueur, splash of coconut rum, splash of butter, splash. Okay. All right. You good, Sheila? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Say heavy lifted. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. In a minute, I'm gonna need a man and a woman to pump me up. Oh my God. Two drinks in my cup. Okay, Shayla. Let's do the shot. Let me get down. Um, get a shot glass. Or get two shot glasses. Let's do two. A tall one. Yeah. Oh, one, just get one, just get one. Actually, no, we always use the tall ones. Let's get. <laughs> Let's do this. You can put those two back. CCP, yeah, maybe one time we come to Chinatown. He in LA? I mean, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with CCP, but potentially he might be. Are you really in, in, in Chinatown? <laughs> Which Chinatown, though? Every, country, every state got a Chinatown. Baroni. No, Los Angeles. He says Los Angeles. Oh, he in Los Angeles, okay. Buru Niu, Buru Niu, Lord Tachanka. I don't know what that means. Okay, Sheila, give me, give, me, give me an ice cube, please. Just one? I mean, just one of the bigger ones that I could shake with. <laughs> See, Henry D says, Sky got me saying homeboy to everybody now. <laughs> I sent it to my ex-wife, and boy, was she pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Henry. She said, did you just call me homeboy? She's the ex for a reason, son. She's the ex for a reason. It's the reason why she ain't in the starting position, okay? 
put it back in. It's the reason why she didn't start in the starting five. Hey, hey, Scott, you know what we need to talk about next episode? What? That documentary that came out about the Nickelodeon kids. Oh. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. My friend told me about it yesterday. Yeah, I'm going mm. to go home and watch that documentary, y'all. Have you heard yeah. about that? It's just something about quiet, right? Something quiet? I don't know, but it's something like Drake Bell or, or and like and, and Ariana Grande, all the Nickelodeon yeah, kids. Yeah, getting abused, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Adrian. Where, where have you been? You, you're late. <laughs> Naughty Pig is in West Just Hollywood. It's on them. Sunset Boulevard, you guys. Yeah, it's so right. It's right in I West Hollywood. I think CCP is not in Chinatown. Yeah. Okay. It's not in Chinatown. So, homeboy, this recipe is called a German chocolate cake. German chocolate cake. Okay. So we have some clear ice in the glass. Y'all see that, right? Always got to start with the clarity, homeboy. Okay. <laughs> So, Shayla, let us first hit this with a little bit of, okay? You want to start with Diego? Really get the, the butt? Okay. <laughs> hit it with Diego Meister. <laughs> How much? Just a little mini ass ball of Diego you bring. <laughs> How much? Just pour. I can tell you when to stop. Pour! Can I stop now? No, keep going. More? Yeah, we, don't be scared. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I, can I stop now? No. Chocolate liqueur, okay? Good dive of chocolate. This damn thing is $50 a bottle of March Diego. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. $50 a bottle is wild. Yeah, that's why I like substitutes for this shit, dude. Like, this is so expensive. But not a lot of people make like a chocolate liqueur. Okay, this is Malibu this coconut seems rum. This so random. What? The coconut rum added to the chocolate and the Jaeger. Oh, just a splash, that's good. Okay? Of this, okay? Now come behind, this butterscotch now. There wasn't one already open? This one was open. Okay. It was. Hit it with that, same amount, just a little splash. Okay. Is that that's how much coconut you put in? Okay. Butterscotch. <laughs> but then three, those three drops make a difference? <laughs> okay, so, someone, oh, uh, Money Matt, Money Matt. Hey, Money Matt. Thank I you. ain't watching that dark side stuff too, sad. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's too sad. Yeah. I just wanna know what happened. Like, I'm nosy, that's why. No, but I mean, you can't hand your kids off to some random dudes, dude. You gotta be there. Hand your kids off? Yeah. But it's not like, they were going to a network. A full network with staff and employees. It's not like I was just dropping off my kids to some random dude's house. Yeah, y'all. I'm dropping my kids off to Nickelodeon. What the fuck that look like, a school? Like, oh, I, no. like there's a principal. Hey, kids, get in line. And firstly, once they, once they kid enters Hollywood, kids in Hollywood don't get treated like kids because it's a business. You gotta, you gotta be moving. You gotta get shit done. Like, you don't have time to like play games with them and for them to be kids, right? So the more precocious, the more molested, molested. You no, are. I mean the more, the more mature your kid is, the more likely they are to work. Okay, they don't want, they don't want like a five year old on set, dude. They want, a, they want a, someone who look five. They want someone who. Who looks five, you know, but acts 15. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They need you to be mature. And that's how you get shit done quickly. Because if you got to cry and play and toe temper tantrums, they ain't got time for that shit. <coughs> so keep your kids at home. By yeah, don't, don't AI take, to Disney or Nickelodeon. Yeah, AI taking your kid's job anyways. Don't worry about it. Okay. Right here. Let's turn the AI off. can't replace doctors like heart surgeons and stuff, though. Dude, I showed you that robot the other day. It I, don't, really I don't think it can. Give that, give, that, give that a couple of years. I'm not and by a couple, I'm talking like maybe three. I'm not trusting a robot. You can like the robot more than you can like a human. Because the robot ain't going to be distracted. Your human doctor can come in drunk because he'd been partying the night before. He was fighting with his wife. He'd been up all night. And you got an eight-hour surgery and he coming in there all sleepy. Robot ain't going to do that. Robot can be focused. And there you have it, the German chocolate cake shot. Okay, guys, some wild shit in this. Let's wish Shayla the best. German chocolate cake. Does it look like chocolate cake? S Silver, Silver, ba Silver Back Racing TV said he feels like all the parents knew. I don't think the parents would know that, though. I, I, that, that's really crazy if you know that your child's getting molested. Yeah, most parents, like, oh, it's fine. most parents wouldn't do that. There are some parents who would probably go along so with it. Earth. <laughs> but did y'all see that Shia LaBeouf movie? That he made about when he grew up in uh, doing, he was filming, um, mm -hmm. what was it called? Honey something? Do you know what I'm talking He played his own father, right? He played his own father? Yeah, did you see that movie? No, but that just sounds like a psychological revenge it was, thing. It was really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, anyways. Ooh, wow. You like it? I'm surprised by how much I like this. 
Jaeger isn't as bad as you The Jaeger did not overpower it like how I thought it would. Listen, you just got to trust Jaeger, okay? Just hold it tight and walk with it. Close your eyes. You don't need to see what's going on. It's good. Okay? Honey Boy was the name of the movie. And it was about when he was like filming with Even Stevens. I didn't watch it. Oh, no. It was, it was some intense stuff in there. Mm-hmm. You just can't hand your kids over to Hollywood. You gotta watch your kids. You can't hand your kids over to anyone. I have a friend who's a singer, mm -hmm. and she was saying like Disney wanted me when I was a kid. They wanted to do their own TV show with me, and da da da. da but my dad didn't allow it. And I remember thinking to myself like, "Damn, your dad is such a hater, bro. Like, dude, like he was a hater though. I you can't could, believe you, that he didn't let his kid be a Disney. She would be famous, so famous by now. But then." Now, thinking about it, it's just like, yo, I wouldn't no, have sent my kid. No, but listen to me. You gotta, I wouldn't have let her go either if I had been her father. You got to be on set watching what's going on. Yeah. They're not allowed to be on. Listen, you can't have a five-year-old on set by themselves. You have to be there watching. You're a parent or, a parent or guardian has to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's, there's controls in place for this. Okay? Now, if you can be a lax parent and walk in, hand your son off, and then freaking leave and something happen, that's really on you. You got to be there, dude. Be a part of this. Yeah. Because everyone on, this, on these sets, are adults. The mm -hmm. only kids there are the kids who act in. They don't want kids around cause they, because kids are a nightmare to work with. <laughs> you, can only, you can only use them for a couple hours. You got this shit going on. I heard today that YouTube will start making all AI videos flagged as AI generated. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, good really? though. That's yeah, really good. I, I, I should have mentioned that. That's yeah, good. YouTube, like all the Thanks sites are going to do that. I think TikTok's doing that as well, you know. I'm wearing, they're going to they're gonna let you know what's AI generated, mm -hmm. at least for now. But there will come a day, dude, when you won't even be able to tell. Well, and that's the day when we all gonna be homeless. We gonna be fighting for water and food. I can't wait to see some of y'all in line. Hey, give me that water, okay? It's gonna be wild, homeboy. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be wild. Work on your ninjutsu skills. Get Jiu get light. Jujitsu, ninjutsu, muay thai, boxing, taekwondo. You know, tai chi, whatever you wanna do. Start training, homeboy, because we could be fighting, okay? Yeah, my mom. When I first moved to LA, my mom was like, "You need to take Krav Maga classes." Did you take any? I did take some and then I dropped out because I couldn't afford it anymore. Did you learn anything? I learned a hammer fist. Good luck with that shit. A hammer fist. Bam! Yeah, right when in you your see chest. a big dude, a big dude gonna rob you. Homeboy, I know hammer fist. I know oh. hammer fist. Put your gun down. I know My hammer fist. My hammer fist is really strong. Good luck. It'll hurt you. Yeah. It'll hurt you. Tell a bullet get you right now. And I learned ah. how to do the proper punching techniques. Okay. But that's about it. So. <laughs> Greatest tipsy mixed martial arts. <laughs> That'll be funny. You get two fighters, get them drunk. Okay, they each have to do this, drink the same amount. Okay, and then you put them in the ring. <laughs> that sounds like kind of fun, but it sounds. Scary. See, Russia would allow you to do that. America would probably yeah, say America no. Yeah, America would probably say no because somebody's gonna end up dead. Russia would be like, <laughs> "Fuck it, let's do it." You know. <laughs> Somebody gonna end up dead. No, the 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 slamming people. No, while the body slamming. Shoot yeah. Basketball is crazy. Yeah, yeah slamming seven, seven score line. Yeah, the, the, yeah, you can't be body slamming people when they trying to. <laughs> When they're trying to do basketball, okay, okay. Did we talk about the Mike Tyson thing yesterday? I don't think okay. so. Okay, so okay, so the, the when is this fight? When is it? This Saturday? I don't know. It's no. It's it's a little while. I think that it's not until like July or something like that. I think right, June or oh. July. Thank you for okay. the super chat. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you, Kung Fu. Yes, homeboy. Listen to me. I will get a couple of you all drunk. Put you all in the ring. Okay, see what happens. Okay. <laughs> If the police come, we can say, hey, we, this, is, this is a scientific experiment. <laughs> <laughs> We're studying uh, the effects of alcohol on the human mind. I'll put on a suit so it look legit, okay? And some glasses. And I'll talk like an African doctor. No, sir. What uh -uh. we are doing here today is we are studying the effects of alcohol on the human brain. Okay? Damn, that was kind of okay. impressive. <laughs> you know? So, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, um, so... Mike Tyson's purse for this fight, on, it's, which can take place on Netflix, is supposed to be twenty million. Mm -hmm. Okay, and guys, I, I, I heard there have been rumors that they might be wearing head, headgear, they might be wearing giant gloves, but it on Netflix. I know you pay for Netflix, right? But it's kind of like a free fight because you're gonna have Netflix anyway. So, I mean, this is just another thing to watch. So this is a fun time. Hopefully none of them end up dead, but you know, I would love him to catch Jake Paul with a with a, with a, with a with, you know with a nice uppercut. And just lay him out, dude. Cause what are the likely, what's the likeliness of one of them ending up dead? Not dead, but I mean like knocked out. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I mean, with the fact that, July, yeah, July 20th on Netflix, the fact that they both wear headgear, if that is true, not that high, because I mean, they both could take a punch. I mean, Mike 57, though, so I, who knows, like, what he could take right now. Mm hmm So, I mean, this, this, is, this is dangerous for him to be in there, but for 20 million, I can understand why he would risk it. Yeah. 
You know, twenty million. Is if a you lot could of make, if you could make, money, if you could make twenty million, you in know, one night to just spar, like, because that's pretty, that's because that's that's a sparring match. I if mean, I could make twenty million dollars in one night, I don't care if I'm winning or losing, because I'm waking up tomorrow twenty million dollars richer. I tell you this though, if but if I was Mike Tyson, I would care a little bit. Now, if I meet Mike Tyson and, and I ain't yeah. got on no head yet, and he just punching me straight out, and he's in his prime, there's no fucking way, because you ain't gonna cash that check. That dude will knock your brain into next year, you know. He's, he's, you wouldn't he's, even know how to cash the check. Dude, he's, he's, he's a bad dude. One video I saw said Jake will wear headgear and not and Tyson. And not Tyson. No, they would have to both be doing yeah, the same like, thing. Yeah. Mike, yeah. Mike ain't gonna risk that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mike's not gonna risk that. And all you boxing guys, because I see a lot of dudes out there practicing boxing now. Wear headgear. Don't be dumb. Okay? All those hits on your brain, dude, they hurt. I remember I get... Mike I, Tyson is on Kanye's new album. What are you saying on that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you. Yeah. Oh, Kanye's a genius. They don't want to admit genius, that he's a know, genius, he's, but he's a genius. He's a demonstrable genius. You know, he's amazing. That's actually messed up. I'm so sorry, Mike Tyson. Please. You saw when Eddie Murphy made fun of I'm him, so right? I'm so sorry. I feel bad immediately. <laughs> I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> scroll, scroll down for me. Yeah, do it. Lord Tachanka, we love you, Lord Tachanka. I don't know what you're saying in these comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this 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 is a this is a little interesting story. Okay, this for the TikTok ban. Okay, so TikTokers have now come Jews. together and are blaming Jews for the TikTok ban. Okay, Jews are probably going like, "Jesus, you can blame us for that too." Okay, now let me tell you. Let me tell you. Just case in point. TikTok. They were trying to ban TikTok years ago before this israeli uh palestine thing even kicked off this was going to be by trump was trying to buy on tiktok i know he changed his mind now because he needs some cash right but um i shouldn't say because he needs some cash it's believed that one of the tiktok big boys was talking to him and you know <coughs> got him to change his opinion but they were trying to ban this even before this war started now it is true that the majority of young people on tiktok tend to be pro-Palestine, but I don't think that that's the reason why. It's much more to this than Israel and Palestine, you know what I mean? So it ain't that. Can't blame the Jews for this. Blame them for something else, but not this. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't blame the Jews. If you're Jewish in here, shout out to you, homeboy. Let's sit on some, let's sip on some Manischewitz. That's what it's called, the Manischewitz? That, that little grape wine that they used to... Invite me to your Passover so I can come or eat Arak. food. What? Right? That's true. I don't know. I know the bar mitzvah is a party. I think Passover is a more serious event. Invite me to your Passover and we can eat food, you know? But you got to pray too. <laughs> I've, been, I've been invited to somebody's Passover. What party you all have where you don't have to pray, okay? I won't come to anything where I ain't got to pray and be on my knees for like two hours and stuff like that, okay? So whatever your religion is, homeboy. As long as I get some matzo balls, that's all I care about. Yeah. I'll pray with you. Yeah, whatever religion you are, one time I got to be on my knees too long and I could get, you know, some nice food, some drinks. Even though I don't drink, I like to be alcohol there, okay? I like to be surrounded by booze, even though I might not touch it, okay? It's weird. <laughs> it's weird like that. Like, if I go to a party and there's no alcohol, I'm out, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I ain't doing that mocktail but shit. But you, you don't even drink, though. Yeah, but it's in my blood, okay? Oh, okay. I, can't, I can't stay, okay? Oh, boy, you only got no alcohol? You know what do is hit me up sky. You should make mocktails. No, you should go somewhere else where they make mocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever somebody goes to the bar or and actually orders a mocktail, I kind of get irritated. It's like... <coughs> Excuse me. It's a thing now. It's kind of a... It's really annoying. As a bartender, I, I have a busy-ass bar and you're going to sit here and order a mocktail. If you don't order a fucking Sprite and go sit down in the corner and drink your damn Sprite and shut up. That's not true because the mocktail game's changed, though, because... Fancy restaurants, like if you go to Castle Madero, you know the restaurant out here? Um, a restaurant up on Sunset. If, if, you, if you go to Castle Madero, um, that's, that's, a, that's like a hot restaurant right now. Their mocktail list is dope as hell. And the mocktails... It's so dumb. No, the mocktails... You're going to sit here and pay 7 to $10 for a mocktail? No, no, hold on. Shayla. For a mocktail? Their mocktails cost just as much as their cocktails. They ain't even got no damn liquor in it. Sheila, their mocktails cost just as much as their cocktails. Make and it they, make sense. And they taste like it have liquor in it. And I they'll guess. give you and they'll give you like a little freaking bubble on like you know one of them you know where they use the machines and you get that little bubble on top. So you're gonna pay full price mm -hmm. for a drink that looks like an uh, uh, alcoholic drink, but doesn't get you where if you don't drink though, if you don't drink, you? if you don't drink though, if you if you're not a drinker, what you can do? If you don't drink, then that's fine. Listen, percent. if you're doing a high-end restaurant right now, you have to have mocktails because a lot of Gen Z is not drinking. 
they smoking weed and doing other things, okay? They ain't really drinking. They ain't, they ain't Look, if you want to pay that price for Martel, go ahead, but it's irritating. Gen Z ain't going as hard as alcohol as previous generations. These dudes are weird. I told you that, okay? So you got you to gotta factor that in. So you have to have mocktails. On. And there are actually bars that are beginning to open that do not sell alcohol. They sell like, you know, mocktails, but these are more refined with mixology. So you get this delicious drink and people still going and talking and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that don't sound like too much fun to me and I don't drink, you know, but. I make mocktails. Usually my mocktail consists of lemon juice, lime juice. A little bit of simple syrup, and then I'll like shake it, dump it, and I'll top it with like ginger beer, or maybe like ginger ale or Sprite or something like that. You might as well just drink the ginger beer, boy. Stop wasting time. What the fuck you doing? You're the one who ordered a fucking mocktail. What else am I supposed to put in there? I, I don't know. Get a dude. Exactly. A, get a dude in O'Doul's, Buckley's, or whatever. You remember them? That the, O'Doul's is beer. Yeah, but it's like, a non-alcoholic beer. A, yeah, but that's a non-alcoholic beer. That, if somebody wants a non-alcoholic cocktail. Y'all have non-alcoholic beers. What's that, yeah? We have a non-alcoholic IPA. What is it? How's it taste? I forget the name of it. I didn't taste that shit. <laughs> 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 shit is a fucking straight hater, man. What's wrong with you? Seven, hit me with another one, please. Okay? Which one? Yeah. This one. Yeah. It's probably in Grenadine. It's half an hour before it's about that time. That's our fucking time, bitch. And you need to drink some more before you go. I don't, I'm, why can't you just accept I'm good? Like, I, I said I'm good, it's fine. No, like you said, you don't want to get blitzed. You don't have to get fucking blitzed, but why would you spend $30 to get a buzz? I'm not going to fucking sit here and get lectured about drinking by some fucking guy who's sitting here in his goddamn underwear <laughs> drinking his wine and a fucking vodka. <laughs> you look at the raging fucking alcohol. <laughs> Oh, here's the wine at the end. The volume one that was bad. Okay, go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. AV said, I can confirm I'm in Gen Z and 50% of my friends don't drink. See? Could, but I want to know why. Because they smarter <laughs> than previous generations. What maybe. are your friends' reasons for not drinking? That's golf. Oh. Boy. That's golf. That's how golf works. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Notice, though. Notice, ladies and gentlemen. That is an American pride. He did not drop his bear, okay? <laughs> Watch that, watch that. A lot of people let go the can. He held on, okay? That right there, that's a real American male, okay? <laughs> I've always, ever since I was little, I've always wanted to drive a golf cart, and I never have. But going back to my it boy here, fun. my boy said 50% 50 of his friends don't drink. I mean... Is there, is there a reason, though? Like, what, do you know what their reasons are? Do are, they, they are they smoking weed, A.V.? Are they smoking marijuana? Do they have specific reasons why they don't drink? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it a thing where it's like, oh, it's unhealthy? And the, like, what, I want to know why. I don't know. They're probably smarter than... I don't know. When I was in high school, our high school parties were so much fun because we were at high school drinking. Listen, listen. It's not like alcohol it's is not good same. for you. These dudes probably have more information and realize, hey, alcohol is really bad. You shouldn't drink it. Like, you know, that's Because fake. alcohol is poison. They did that for the camera. Maybe, maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe they did it for the camera. Go to the next one. What was that? Is this, is this, I like, guess is they're this just smarter, dude? like Sky said. That's not a, that's not a reason. <laughs> I'm choosing not to drink because I'm smart. <laughs> I'll eat the bro, I'm not You do any of you ever sip Yego on the rocks? Like you ever seen anyone No, because I'm not a psychopath. You think it tastes that bad? And I'm not in college. <sighs> Does it taste that bad though? Okay, somebody says like why drink when you can smoke weed? Yeah, I that, mean because it's two totally different vibes. Hello? What are you guys even saying? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There is a time to smoke weed and there is a time to get drunk. Amen. Okay? Go ahead, sister, preach. Go ahead. I'm just saying, and at a party, everybody's just smoking weed. That's no party. Everybody's probably passed out and just eating the whole time. Yeah. Not getting up, not doing no fun stuff, not dancing, okay, not but, acting but, crazy. Okay, but imagine you got your imagine arms. Imagine a high school party. Not a high school party, but you got your <laughs> arms around your girl, you got your little joint. The music's playing, you're listening to some freaking weird ass music no, that you would normally lame, listen to. No, lame, boring, and shit. lame. I can do that at home. I just think, I feel like it's, y'all, y'all don't even know what fun you're missing out <laughs> on. I'm a psychopath. <laughs> but the thing is, though, 
They're saying, oh, well, my friends are smarter because they're not drinking. But didn't we just see a study where if you drink, you're more likely to live longer? Which, yes. But they're not. So, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. But they're not talking. But they're not talking dudes who are drinking every day. That's dudes who drink on occasion. You know what I Do mean? Do your friends drink on occasion? Yeah, like that. No, they're not, I mean. Like, exactly. They don't drink at all because they're lame and boring. Damn, he's a hater. Jesus. Sheila's never smoked I weed. I have smoked weed before. How often do you smoke right now? I don't like putting my business on. I mean, they, they, <laughs> I think they probably know you have an issue, so you can go. I ahead. don't have an issue. But you do smoke daily? Once a day, at least. At night? Usually at night, Okay. Yeah. So before you go to bed, these light up? Usually, like, when I get home from here. Okay. And then that, you unwind? <laughs> and I unwind. Your I'm neighbors unwinding. don't say anything? Yeah. They can't smell that? No. Mm. Are they like the black girl with the weed? These black people mm -hmm. in them marijuana, okay? They all yeah. sticking up the whole complex, no? Really? Yeah. You no, I, I, the ventilation in our building is really good. So, so it's going into someone else's unit. It's not going to anybody's <laughs> unit. It's going to the window. <laughs> to the window. Do it. Where we used to shoot, t where we yeah. used to shoot tipsy bartender when we lived in the when we, when Was we everybody high all the time? No, but the, the, uh, like they had a lot of a lot of Asian dudes in there, right? No disrespect to the Asian community. What happened? But everybody in that building smoked. Smoking? And dude, it used to come in the vents hard. And this You're was a new building. Cigarettes, though. Yeah, cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yeah. Cigarettes. Yeah. Not marijuana. Oh, not marijuana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could probably cope with the marijuana, but yeah. the cigarettes? No, I can't. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes in the in the building? Yeah. Okay, they'd smoke in their unit. Okay, there's supposed to be no I smoking. I never heard of that. It's supposed to be a no smoking building, right? But naturally, dudes can smoke in their unit. But so all the I units. Know you want to smoke cigarettes in your house? No, I, but I know cigarette smokers that don't smoke in their own house. I They'll know, but all the all these apartment units shared like this ventilation system, right? So whatever you cook in yours, I can smell in mine, and down the line. <laughs> so, dude. And remember, all these dudes smoking, so you could smell the smoke, you could smell the food. And this, I mean, this is a nice looking building. Oh, no. And it's not they that. could do, because that's just the way it was built. So I you, wouldn't like you call it. You call in management, hey, blah, 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 blah. And management's like, okay, we're on it. And then they have dudes, they have like the security guards would go around smelling, you know? To see whose unit it Yeah, was. to see whose unit is. Yeah, yeah. So they'd be outside, and then you hear a knock, excuse me. And then they come inside, walk around a little bit. And smell? Yeah. What, yeah. what, what happens if you get caught? I, they give you a warning, and if you get enough warnings, they can evict you. Yeah. Cause, cause, Cause I, cause it was, the lease, right? Yeah, cause, but it was, yeah, and also because it was so bad. Like, everybody unit was fucked up. I'm happy my building's not like that. I don't, you know. Yeah, build your shit right, man. Nice looking building. That was all my biggest up. issue is that my neighbors be stumping. Like, boom, Are they still? Boom, they ain't get evicted boom, yet? Boom, 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 still. And it be early. Like, I'm talking 7 o'clock in the morning. Boom, 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 boom. You haven't been back up there and be like, hey, what's up? Night. Boom, boom. You haven't gone back up and say, what's up? No. You can't go up there with all gangsters and stuff. Like, what's up? I tried to ask them very nicely. They were not having it. Hey, what's up, man? Huh? They weren't having it. What's I'm not going to go kid? back up there. Kid, you stomp again. I will break your fucking legs, you little shit. No, okay? because it's a, it's a married couple with their kid and their big dog. Uh, oh, but the, the kid. dude, the, the, the dad is like... He's Muscular? Like a, he's like a big Russian, blonde Russian dude, like Terminator type. Like, I'm not. Really? He look like he'll kill you. Yeah. You scared of Russians? Y yeah. I bet. Yeah, they would poison you. <laughs> Who, Who is it? Who is it? They would poison you. <laughs> <laughs> they would poison you. <laughs> I don't want no problems. <laughs> Seven, him for the next one. They would poison you. My them. parents' fridge with jello shots. Every year, my parents go I've super hard to save. Yeah, you always do. <laughs> celebrate it all day. So this year, I wanted to make it special. So I spent all night oh, filling the fridge thing. with hundreds of jello shots so they were ready for when they woke up in the morning. He has too much time on his hands. <laughs> this is the first time the dad smiled. No, he always smiles. <laughs> <laughs> the dad gotta be in on it though. Mm. That's how you start St. Patty's Day, <laughs> motherfucker. It's a That's a fun dad though. Did That's you a, did you see when he do all when he TP'd the whole place or put peanut butter on all the cabinets? No, I didn't see that. Man, his dad was pissed. Yes. I'm not cleaning this shot. I love how they're doing the shots. <laughs> okay, here's what I call fake on this video. Because when you wake up in the morning, that's not how you go to the fridge, dude. You go to the fridge, your drawers hang in, one, oh, of your cheeks, one of your cheeks out, you know what I mean? Your toes poking out your socks, okay? 
you all fuck, you open the fridge, and then you, and then you gotta set it, and you gotta go like, what? I do feel like just because of how many pranks he's done on his parents, like they have to yeah. know it. They, but he did one where he put peanut butter. I'm saying from head to toe, peanut butter everywhere. Yeah. Yo, on the cabinets, all over it. Dude, you can imagine if I had a son do that, and I'm an influencer, right? I'd totally choke him up. Come here! <laughs> ah! Well, Dad, you're killing me! Yeah, homeboy, that's what I'm trying to you do. You know what I was thinking about huh? doing? What? Small pranks on the public that will minorly inconvenience them. Mm-hmm. Good like, luck with that. like, for example, just putting like peanut butter on somebody's door handle and then watching them. Like, it's an inconvenience, it's annoying, but it's not like gonna ruin their whole day. You know? It might ruin your day, though, because you can't tell how people gonna react. Most pranks <laughs> are fake, number one, okay? You're getting fake reactions. Like, the shit's not real. Because if you think of some of the stuff that you see these dudes doing, right? Just coming from an influencer background. You can get beat the fuck up, okay? Like some dudes go out there and do real shit, but like a lot of stuff's fake because if you do that, do it. You just, you just can't. All you gotta do is meet the wrong person. That's number one. And number two, everyone in America got a fucking gun. You know what I mean? I gotta pee. Yeah, oh God, here we go. Okay? Chill out. <laughs> no, I gotta go. I can't You can't just stand here? I can't go on the Okay, come here, come here. Come. Okay, hold on. Oh God, God. <laughs> Let her go. Let her go. She gotta go take a leak. Hit me, bro. I can't spell your name, but shout out to Korea. <laughs> yeah, hey, Korea. Thanks for watching. Scroll that one. Scroll that one more. Okay, scroll down slow. Okay, yep. We coming down. Oh, just trying to make sure. I got everything for you guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <clears throat> all right, cool, cool, cool. So, guys, like I told you all before, this is the main feed, okay? This is YouTube. YouTube is where this show is centered. But we do share to Facebook. We do share to Twitch, okay? The episodes will disappear off Facebook. If you want to see anything, you got to come to YouTube, okay? That's where our stockpile is. That's why I want you to become a member so you can help support the show so we can buy alcohol, okay? Look at this little bottle of Yego, okay? This is all we can afford. Look how tiny this is, okay? You know what I mean? This is a man in need, okay? Look at me. Okay? That's me asking you for money. All right? So look here. <laughs> Become a member. <laughs> Make some donations, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> we can just wait till Shayla comes. Ah, Shayla ain't come back. I think she's doing a dupe soon, boy. Okay? I hear a lot of work going on in there. I hear stuff flushing. Shayla, what you doing in there? That sound pretty big. Hit me with the marathon one. Is that the running one we did yesterday? Go oh. slow. <laughs> <laughs> go, go one more, go moms, go moms, go moms. Shayla coming right now. Anyway, guys, guys, listen here. Please share this show with your friends, okay? Like this episode. Share it with your friends. You see any fun clips in here that you like? You know, share it to your friends. Or go to youtube.com slash tipsy vlogs. That's where we put like clips from the show there, you know oh, what I mean? Tipsy. Yeah. Nice some of the clips, some of the clips. More, more the new stuff that we talk about. We put it on there, you know what I mean? So see you all manana. 5 30 Eastern Standard Time, 2 30 Pacific Standard Time. Remember, come to YouTube and become a member, man. We got to grow. The more we grow, the bigger our guests can be. We could, we could, I could get The Rock in here, okay? But it got to be big enough for him to come in to promote his tequila. That'd be so cool. You could get like, Matthew McConaughey in there. I'd be like, hi, there. But it got to be big enough. If you get big enough, you could get anyone to come in. How's the weather? We could have Joe Biden in here. Hey, hey but, but yeah, as you know, I got my aviators on. I'd be you know like, I mean? hi, Joe Biden. So, can you hear me? Stop making my present, homeboy. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay? Joe, okay? <laughs> you get Trump? No, Trump don't drink. But he wouldn't care anyway. Anyway, look here, look here. Listen. Drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, stay Thank tipsy, see. see you all tomorrow. It's going to be her and Janessa Manana. Later, man. <laughs>